Countrywise Hunter used his divine summoning Shirigami and summoned a divine monsters to attack Lin Moyu. That divine monster's head was of a snake and body of human, and use a long axe. When Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior attacked the divine Shirigami, it used his axe to block their attack, Shirigami Hunter said to Lin Moyu, that his attacks are so feeble and they're merely a tickle to his giant axe. Lin Moyu summoned two more skeleton warriors and they attack that giant axe. Divine summoned Shirigami with their furious strike with 2700 power. Thai Shirigami monster got cut into two with Lin Moyu's attack. Lin Moyu was shocked that that divine monster was this weak. Other hunters were more surprised that Lin Moyu just killed a divine summon so effortlessly. Shirigami hunter was also bleeding heavily. Not only did his summon get wiped out, but he also suffered a backlash. Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior charge at that Shirigami hunter and strike with their sword. Lin Moyu summons more skeleton warriors and ordered them to go and attack. That Shirigami hunter was too scared to see more monsters. He climber at his summon Shirigami monster and order it to run away from Lin Moyu, all the country. Wise hunter were too scared to see that Lin Moyu's skeletons are that powerful. The divine summoner is a legendary class, yet it was so easily killed. They all want to know what level is Lin Moyu. What is with those skeletons? And what the hell is Lin Moyu class? Shirigami Hunter was scared. He thought that since Lin Moyu is just level 17 necromancer, he must have awakened his innate talent. The Shenxia Empire now has someone with an extremely strong class, so he must report this back to his country. When Lin Moyu and all his skeleton warriors stand together, they look to scary as Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior charge at country. Wise hunter. A hunter run away shouting that he give up. He is not going to fight against those things he don't want to die. As he run away, all the other hunters follow him and run away because they don't want to die either. They knows that even the divine summoner has died. So how are they going to even win? Shia Empire's hunters were laughing while looking at those bastards. They literally pissed their pants. What a bunch of trash. They got so scared from just a couple of skeletons. A guy said that those skeletons are able to go against monsters at the nightmare difficulty. They would just be signing their own death wish if they were to fight. But all the hunters were more curious to know that where did Lin Moyu come from? A man of few words, ruthless. He is a literal role model. And he looked so cool when he single-handedly killed that Dainin summon. Ling Zhen was angry that if he hadn't left the team, would he also be one of the people who completed the trial this time? Ling Zhen thought that it's not his fault and he'll make Lin Moyu pay by ten folds. Jiang Tao Tao crushed the Teltation Stone and said that trial completed successfully, now it's time to go back. Shia Tower verified that trial is successfully completed, now commencing teleportation. After some time at a classroom in Qian Long Academy, Jiang Tao Tao thanked Lin Moyu. Because the trial this time was extremely important for her, Ning Yi Yi lay down on the sit because she was too tired. She tell Jiang Tao Tao that she don't have to be so formal with Lin Moyu, although he doesn't talk much. Lin Moyu is actually a very good person. Jiang Tao Tao told Ning Yi Yi to look at herself. She always speaking up for Lin Moyu. Suddenly Lin Moyu get a message at his communication device. It was from Bai Shen asking Lin Moyu to come to the academic affairs office for a moment. Lin Moyu was surprised that God Bai Shen messaged him. When Lin Moyu goes to academic affairs office, he meet Bai Shen there. Bai Shen praised Lin Moyu saying that, that he watched the trial's recordings just now and Lin Moyu did well in it. Lin Moyu said that he just did his best. Bai Shen thought that Lin Moyu is not bad. He neither becomes arrogant through success, nor discouraged by failure. He asked Lin Moyu if he know what the mermaid's tear is used for. Lin Moyu said, Nope. Thinking is the mermaid's tear, an extremely precious item. Bai Shen told him that it is an item that would affect the success rate in awakening an innate talent during their second class transitioning at level 40. Items that can help awaken talents are very rare. Even if the level of mermaid's tears is relatively low, it is still very precious. This time, unexpectedly, the Sakura country also calculated the time and location of the appearance of Mermaid Island, which almost led to the failure of the trial. But fortunately, Lin Moyu was there this time and obtained the mermaid's tears for Shenxia. Bai Shen asked Lin Moyu that is there any reward he want. Bai Shen will try his best to satisfy Lin Moyu's request. Lin Moyu thought that he couldn't find his sister's information at the administrative office before. Should he take this opportunity to ask Bai Shen? Lin Moyu finally decided to ask Bai Shen. He asked Bai Shen that can he help him find someone. Bai Shen said that he knew Lin Moyu would ask for this. He told Lin Moyu that his sister, Lin Mohan, joined the Chuangshen Academy at the beginning of the year, so Lin Moyu can't find any information. All the students of Chuangshen Academy have their information confidential. Lin Moyu was surprised to hear that name Chuangshen Academy. He remembered that Jiang Tao Tao's ultimate dream is the Chuangshen Academy. 
Yi Yi and Xia Shui have always told him that if there is a chance, they must join the Chuangshen Academy. He didn't expect his sister to enter first, but his sister started school last year, and it has already been half a year since she joined the Chuangshen Academy. Bai Shen told Lin Moyu that since his sister is a part of the Chuangshen Academy, Bai Shen is bound by the rules not to reveal any more information about here. Lin Moyu also won't be able to see her or get any answers unless he joined the Chuangshen Academy. Lin Moyu's only option is to join the academy and find her on his own. Lin Moyu suddenly get a new message on his communication device. Bai Shen told Lin Moyu that he have sent Lin Moyu the requirements for joining the Chuangshen Academy. It'll come in handy. Then Bai Shen told Lin Moyu that he was going to tell Lin Moyu about his sister's situation either way, so it's not counted his reward. He can ask for another one. Then Lin Moyu said he would like a cooldown amulet. Lin Moyu knows that this item cannot be bought even in the trading house. It must be very rare. But it is really useful. Lin Moyu really need a cooldown amulet of his own. Bai Shen laughs and said that after watching Lin Moyu's trials recordings, he guessed Lin Moyu would want this. However, even a basic cooldown amulet is not that easy to get. Just this one trial is not enough, Bai Shen said. He have another task for Lin Moyu. If he complete it, Bai Shen will help him get one. Lin Moyu said, Okay, because he knows they with the cooldown talisman. He will be able to grind his levels much faster and join Chuang Shen Academy. Bai Shen told Lin Moyu that Lin Moyu have to wait until he reach level 20 to take this task. If Lin Moyu is in a hurry, he can go to the Academy's Instance Dungeon Hall for fast leveling. Bai Shen give a teleportation stone of the Instance Dungeon Hall to Lin Moyu. He told Lin Moyu that not everyone is qualified to get it. When Lin Moyu get the teleportation stone, he instantly use it. Bai Shen was surprised that Lin Moyu is going to grind his levels right away. He thought that his eyes didn't fool him. Just returned from a trial and isn't planning to get some rest. When Lin Moyu get to the instance hall of Xiajing Academy, he was too stunned to see how big it is. When Lin Moyu was checking information about Creation Seminary, he saw that for for entering this dungeon, requirement level is level 30. Lin Moyu thought that if it's level 30, then it means his older sister managed to reach above level 30 in just three to four months after enrolling in Xiajing Academy. Other requirements was to pass the level 30 Dungeon Abyss, frontline in Hell difficulty and reach 1,000 contribution points. Lin Moyu knows that Hell difficulty is definitely much harder than Nightmare. He don't know if it can be done alone, and how do we obtain the contribution points? Suddenly a girl called Lin Moyu. She asked Lin Moyu is this his first time here? She told Lin Moyu that her name is Shu Han and she can introduce Lin Moyu to the dungeons here. It looks like to Lin Moyu they she's trying to get some points out from this. Lin Moyu asked Shu Han how much she charge. Shu Han told him that just 100 points is enough. Lin Moyu transferred 100 points to her. Shu Han said thanks to Lin Moyu and then started showing him around. She told Lin Moyu that in the dungeon hall, there are two dungeons below, level 20, 18 dungeons between levels, 20 and 30 and 20 dungeons between levels 30 and 40. There are 52 dungeons at levels 40 to 70. And in addition, there are two large dungeons that can hold more than 40 people, and one large dungeon that can hold over a 100 people. In total, there are 95 dungeons here. She told Lin Moyu that each dungeon has their own respective clearing records. Setting a new clear record will award one more rewards. Then when they get in middle shoe, Han told Lin Moyu that where they are right now is the task and team recruitment center. Lin Moyu can complete tasks here to earn points or recruit teammates. Shu Han asked him, Do we have any questions? Lin Moyu asked her that. How do we get contribution points? Contribution points. Shu Han told Lin Moyu that he can earn them by participating in trials organized by the academy and completing their tasks. Lin Moyu knows that he need 1,000 contribution points to enter the creation seminary. But the highest amount of contribution points rewarded for doing a task here is 10 points. The majority only give 2 to 3 points. Shu Han told Lin Moyu that getting the points is way too difficult. Every time a task is issued, it will be quickly completed by someone else too. And if Lin Moyu want to enter the creation seminary, contribution points are a must. Suddenly, Lin Moyu get a notification of receiving 50 contribution points. Duan Gao. Message Lin Moyu asking home if he also have received his contribution points. He told him that he got 20 points, and Sister Tao got 30 points and she's so happy. All the people were surprised. Did they hear that right? 50 points. How is it possible to get that much in one go? Everyone thought that Lin Moyu must be joking. He doesn't even look that high level either. Lin Moyu. Then thanked Shu Han for explaining. Shu Han was embarrassed. 
She told him to not worry since he paid for it anyway. She asked Lin Moyu if he is going to look for a party now to clear a dungeon. Lin Moyu, before replying her, put his hand on the dungeon stone. Lin Moyu get the information of Mutated Forest. A level 17 dungeon. Entry requirements for this dungeon is level 15 to 19. 10 points to enter and 40 points to reset cooldown. Record for this dungeon is 58 minutes in Nightmare. And 1 hour 17 minutes in normal difficulty. Lin Moyu was surprised to see that nobody broken a new record in 3 years for this dungeon. Then Lin Moyu decide to be the one. He choose Nightmare level difficulty to enter the dungeon. When everyone saw that Lin Moyu use Mutated Forest. Everyone were relieved. Because they all thought that Lin Moyu was some kind of big shot. But it turns out he's just some guy below level 20. Maybe he got 50 points instead of contribution points. When Lin Moyu get inside the Mutated Forest dungeon. He was at level 17 at 35% accomplishment. Lin Moyu was wondering how much it'll increase after clearing this dungeon. Lin Moyu summons his skeleton warrior to scot the dungeon. Lin Moyu started getting the notification that he killed level 17. Mutated bear. 6,000 experience points were obtained. Lin Moyu thought that his skeletons can handle the small fry. So he heads straight to the boss to save time. Lin Moyu found a small pound where the dungeon boss was. When Lin Moyu was standing there. The mutated dragon turtle jump out of the water to attack Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu saw that the, the physique of this boss is extremely high. It's even higher than the level 24 merfolk queen. When that mutated dragon turtle comes out of the water, Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior jump to strike at it. Mutated dragon turtle use is super defense skill to bounce of the skeleton warrior's swords. The rage strike of Lin Moyu's skeletons aren't dealing a lot of damage. That turtle shell is really tough. Now Lin Moyu understand why no one has set a new record for three years now. But Lin Moyu was in a rush and use his soul blaze skill and attack that mutated dragon turtle. Lin Moyu said he'll be using this to deal with this monster. That mutated dragon turtle got hit by soul blaze and was in lots of pain. Lin Moyu orders him skeleton warriors to flip over mutated dragon turtle. When they flip it over, then Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors use their rage strike skill and strike at its that mutated dragon turtle's stomach. They killed that mutated dragon turtle and obtained 150000 experience points. He also obtained bronze level weapon, dragon turtle's fist set, bronze level armor, dragon turtle heavy armor, and a low level monster core. Lin Moyu was now 70% at level 17. He received about 35% experience altogether. Now just one more clear should be enough to reach level 18. He wonder what's the reward for setting a new record. On the other hand, outside at the instance hall, the bell started ringing. It means someone set a new record. Even were surprised thinking which elite party is this. No one have seen any of them enter a dungeon. While everyone were confused, details of the new record comes out. New record was for Mutated Forest. Amount of people was one which is Lin Moyle level 17. Necromancer, clearing time is 35 minutes and current ranking is 1. All the hunters were stunned because it's a solo. Clear they knows that even though it's only a level 17 dungeon, it's not something that can be cleared alone normally. And Lin Moyu's record is almost twice faster than the previous one. When Lin Moyu comes out of the mutant forest, he got a message that he is the new recorder of the mutated forest, obtained 1,000 points and 5 contribution points. Lin Moyu was surprised to find that he can get contribution points by setting a new record. Now he know that he'll have to clear the other dungeons. Lin Moyu goes towards a dungeon again. Other hunters were talking. Is he going to solo clear again? A hunter said that as someone who's already level 30, it's going to be embarrassing if he asked Lin Moyu to help him. Another hunter said that could it be that, just now, the 50 contribution points Lin Moyu got was really real. When Lin Moyu checked the spider nest level 20, dungeon information he was that entry requirements for this dungeon is level 18 to 21. Level 18. Lin Moyu thought that if it's level 18 then it's mean. He have to clear the mutated forest again. Lin Moyu returns at the mutated forest dungeon. A guy asked that why is Lin Moyu back here. Others said that he know why. One can only enter the spider nest at level 18. So that means Lin Moyu is only level 17. All the hunters were more surprised. Find that Lin Moyu is level 17. And he solo cleared a dungeon by himself and set a new record. Then 30 minutes later. Lin Moyu comes out of the mutated forest, and now Lin Moyu is level 18. Everyone were now sure that Lin Moyu is going to set a new record for Spider Nest. A hunter asked others if anyone time. Lin Moyu, he said he fell. Lin Moyu was faster this time, and suddenly the record bell second time rings. Again it was Lin Moyu, and the new record is 24 minutes. 
All the hunters present there saw that Lin Moyu really set another record. The 35 minutes wasn't the fastest Lin Moyu could go. All the hunters want to know that where did this godly person come from? Previous record was created by a nearly perfect team of five, which lasted for three years. They can't believe it was broken twice by a newcomer. All of them were thinking, will Lin Moyu also break the record of Spider Nest? Lin Moyu saw that Spider Nest level 20. Dungeon record is one hour 12 minutes, Lin Moyu thought. Was this record also set by that same team? Nobody broke the record for three years. Lin Moyu said sorry, but I really need the contribution points. Lin Moyu select nightmare level difficulty for this dungeon. When Lin Moyu entered the spider nest, he could barely see anything because it was too dark. When Lin Moyu use his summon skill, a small spider comes out to check on Lin Moyu. This place seems to be a maze to Lin Moyu, so he thought of using his skeletons to find a way around here. As Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior goes in different directions, Lin Moyu started getting the notification of killing level 20 Scarlet Spider, all the places Skeleton Warrior goes. Lin Moyu could see it in his mind. There were too many split paths and almost all the skeletons have encountered combat. Lin Moyu thought that it can't go faster like this. There were level 18 small spiders all around the dungeon. Lin Moyu was confused if these small spiders are also monsters of the dungeon. The spiders Lin Moyu's skeletons fought were definitely monsters of the dungeon. Lin Moyu thought of try using his skills first to check. He used Soul Blaze on those small spiders. Lin Moyu got many killing notification. He've killed at least a hundred small spiders in one wave. Lin Moyu saw that the experience he got in one wave is equivalent to 20 enhanced elite monsters of the same level. So this is the best place for farming experience. But suddenly, Lin Moyu noticed that many spiders attacked a skeleton warrior together. Skeleton warrior's physique started dropping quickly as those small spiders were biting it. Lin Moyu commanded Skeleton Warrior to return as he've always used this method to wear down and kill the boss. But Lin Moyu's return failed. He can't call them back. Lin Moyu thought they is it because there are too many spiders on their bodies. Lin Moyu just used corpse explosion to clear them. Then, all the small spiders were killing by Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu runs deep into dungeon. Since this place is good for farming experience, he won't waste it. He'll send his 108 skeletons out in groups of 10 so that the spiders won't be able to overpower them with their numbers. Then ten minutes later, Lin Moyu found the level 21 Spider King. Lin Moyu said to that spider that since it like fighting one with many, then it's Lin Moyu turn now. On the other hand, Shu Han was worried for Lin Moyu. She asked other hunters if they think Lin Moyu can really solo clear the spider nest. A hunter told her that the spider nest dungeon is the best place for farming experience and equipment. It isn't that easy to clear. It's been one hour, and the record was one hour twelve minutes. He don't think Lin Moyu can set a new record anymore. Lin Moyu was level 18, and he saw that his experience went up by 80% from one clear. The fight dragged on for too long, and it's already one hour thirty-two minutes. It looks like he'll have to clear this again, since getting the contribution points is a must. Lin Moyu killed Spider King and obtained 190000 experience points for it. Shu Han saw that it's been one and a half hours, and Lin Moyu still hasn't come out. She feared that something happened to Lin Moyu, but she suddenly saw that dungeon entrance is lighting up. When Lin Moyu comes out of it, Shu Han was relieved that he is finally out. She asked him, did he clear the dungeon? Shu Han told him that it's all right if he didn't. There's way too many monsters in the spider nest, so it's pretty much impossible for one person to kill all of them. Lin Moyu told her that he cleared that dungeon. Shu Han saw too surprised to hear that Lin Moyu really cleared it. His speed alone is comparable to the five people who left a record. When Shu Han looks at Lin Moyu, he looks to carefree, like clearing it was a walk in a park for Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu asks Shu Han if she know which dungeons have the highest experience. Shu Han thought and said among the dungeons below level 25, Spider Nest gives the most experience. Lin Moyu was thinking that although the experience of the Spider Nest dungeon is almost three times that of Mutated Forest, the clearance time is a bit long. But Lin Moyu knows that the Spider Nest does indeed give a lot of experience. Clearing a spider nest once is like clearing mutated forest four times. Lin Moyu spent 40 points to reset cooldown time for spider nest. Lin Moyu knows that farming like this also requires a lot of points to offset the cooling time. Lin Moyu asks Shu Han are there any dungeons that are fast to clear and have high experience? Shu Han thought that if it's fast to clear and gives more experience, then there is that one. Shu Han told Lin Moyu, that he can try teaming up with others to go to the Tyrant Desert Large Dungeon. Although the Tyrant Desert Large Dungeon is a level 25 dungeon, 
It can be entered at level 20 because one can form a team of 40 people. There are many high-end players who earn points by bringing newcomers to clear it. When Lin Moyu hear that it's a large dungeon, he started wonder if he can solo clear it. He know he can only enter at level 20. White God's mission also requires him to reach level 20. Lin Moyu thanked Shu Han and started going back into Spider Nest. Looks like he'll have to speed things up. Shu Han was surprised. She asked Lin Moyu if he is still going to clear the Spider Nest. But Lin Moyu entered the dungeon. But this time, Lin Moyu entered with different energy saying that he'll be taking all the experience. On the other hand, some people were monitoring Lin Moyu through cameras. Bai Shen was there. He asked other if they are shocked or not. After seeing Lin Moyu, Bai Shen said that even though he had already met Lin Moyu before, he was still startled after watching his battle. Elder Meng Anwen said that one person solo clearing the merfolk and taking all three merfolk tiers is very amazing, and the look at the expressions of the country. Why people was satisfying. Hong Shandin of Qianlong Academy was also there. He said that the students from Qianlong Academy can't even compare to a new student who just finished the entrance exam and hasn't even taken the academy's courses. Elder Meng Anwen looks at Bai Shen and asks him about Lin Moyu's talent. Since he have met Lin Moyu, Bai Shen told him that it's an enhancing talent. But how many times does it enhance Lin Moyu wouldn't know? Elder Meng Anwen said that from this trial, it seems that this child is very good. Bai Shen said he also think that Lin Moyu's future is promising. Lin Moyu's sister has already joined the creation seminary. Bai Shen told them that Lin Moyu's sister is still favored by that old guy and is fully nurturing. That old guy has trained all the elites of the human race. They all know how high his vision is. Bai Shen think Lin Moyu is also very likely to be taken in. Elder Meng Anwen said that it seems that in the near future, the human race will have two more new stars. From what he see, Lin Moyu will become a one-man army that can fight against a thousand. Lin Moyu didn't choose to kill all the spiders this time, although he lost a little experience, he still gained 70%, and the clearance time has accelerated a lot, so this time, he will definitely break the record. Outside the dungeon, record bell started ringing again. Now all the hunters were curious to who broke a record this time. A guy said it's that Lin Moyu guy again because he saw Lin Moyu enter a dungeon just now. Everyone were talking that Lin Moyu is too talented, but Ling Zhen who was also there said that it's not talent. Lin Moyu is just lucky. A hunter asked Ling Zhen, why do we say that? Ling Zhen told them that, Lin Moyu is just an ordinary student that has just completed the entrance exam. He has some connection with the White God and probably has some powerful treasure he got from him. Otherwise, how could Lin Moyu possibly clear a nightmare level dungeon by himself? Shu Han shouted at Ling Zhen, asking him what's wrong with students from ordinary backgrounds. Can't they set records? A hunter said he know Ling Zhen. Ling Zhen is from Qianlong Academy. He asked Ling Zhen if Ling Zhen think Qianlong Academy is very noble. Besides, do Ling Zhen have any evidence to slander Lin Moyu so much? Suddenly Lin Moyu comes out of the dungeon. He got message that he make a new record for Spider Nest. Clearance time is 47 minutes. All the hunters were surprised that Lin Moyu actually set a new record again. And it's 47 minutes. He was almost half an hour faster than the previous record. When all the hunters saw that Lin Moyu is out, then a guy called Lin Moyu to tell him that there's someone slandering him. Lin Moyu looks there and saw that it's Ling Zhen. He asked Ling Zhen why is it he here again. Ling Zhen shouted and told Lin Moyu to stop pretending. It's because Lin Moyu have the white god supporting him. Lin Moyu is just a mere top scorer in the country. Lin Moyu first time seriously gets angry because he's been tried long enough. But Lin Moyu stop himself because he can't do what he like in the academy. Ling Zhen told Lin Moyu to don't think he is scared of Lin Moyu. Who do Lin Moyu think he is? While Ling Zhen was saying all this, but he was really scared. He don't know why is he feeling so scared. Lin Moyu's gaze was enough to scar Ling Zhen. Ling Zhen was thinking, if Lin Moyu has killed before, Lin Moyu stop because he know that fighting Ling Zhen is a waste of his time. He need to reach level 20 today as he is level 19 with 74% achievement. Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors were fighting with giant spiders in the dungeon. Lin Moyu thought that he should be able to level up after clearing this. And just as Lin Moyu thought he leveled up and finally level 20, after leveling up Lin Moyu, check how his stats have changed. Now Lin Moyu is level 20 necromancer with average 300 strength, agility, physique, and 1300 spirit. He is wearing Goblin King's magic book and intelligence robe as equipment. His summoning space goes up to 200 and he has 120 skeleton warriors. His talent is overall blessings. Passive skill is damage transfer. Active skills are soul blaze. Summon skeleton warriors. Corpse explosion. Slow curse.
but now he can summon Silver Grade Skeleton Warrior, Lin Moyu was surprised that his summoning skill has leveled up. He divide to take a look at the Silver Grade Skeleton Warrior. But when Lin Moyu summons the Silver Grade Skeleton Warrior, it take 500 spirit. Lin Moyu was little surprised that summoning it uses up his full spirit, but it was worth it. This new Silver Grade Skeleton Warrior has 4,000 average of strength, agility, spirit and physique. Chaye skills are rage, strike level 2. Rage Strike deals 300% damage to the enemy. Lin Moyu knows that after the overall blessings increase, this new Silver Skeleton Warrior stats now are equivalent to a dungeon boss. Its skill has leveled up too. Lin Moyu thought that the cost of summoning this skeleton is too high, and Lin Moyu's current equipment is getting too weak. So it's time for him to change them. He thought about selling off the Silver Grade equipment that he have, and buy some skill scrolls. Now when this time Lin Moyu comes out of the dungeon, Everyone were looking at him. They all were stunned that Lin Moyu leveled up again. This was too amazing that someone leveled up two levels in one day. When some guys check the time they get more surprise. Because Lin Moyu set a new record again. He even took less than half an hour this time. Everyone had the same thought that wasn't Lin Moyu's previous record. His best. While everyone were talking about Lin Moyu, Lin Moyu ignore them and goes to the trading area. Lin Moyu told receptionist to please sell these and use all the gold to buy beginner level skill scrolls. Receptionist was surprised to see all this equipment. He thought that isn't Lin Moyu only level 20. Where did he get all these equipment? Receptionist said alright and started collecting all the equipments. But he asked Lin Moyu that why is he just selling all these and not using them? Since Lin Moyu is level 20 so he should be able to use the silver grade equipment. Lin Moyu do need new equipment, but ordinary silver grade equipment is also of little use to him. Even though these equipment generally have skill enhancement effects, they are not as good as Lin Moyu's talent. Lin Moyu didn't say anything. Receptionist told him that it's okay. They have a point store here, and the real good things are all here. Then Lin Moyu asked Receptionist if he could please show him. Receptionist show the equipment room to Lin Moyu. He said he'll go sell these so Lin Moyu can take a look around first. First think, Lin Moyu saw there was a spirit longsword. It was silver grade with 400 spirit. It can be used from level 20. It was first time when Lin Moyu saw a spirit weapon. Lin Moyu was surprised that the equipment here is way better. And there are in sets too. The price is indeed not cheap. One set would cost close to 10000 points. Normally new students wouldn't be able to afford it at all. There was also spirit long robe, which is a silver grade and silver grade spirit ring. Both of them can be used from level 20. All three of them were the part of the spirit set. Lin Moyu thought that this set is quite good because the set effect can additionally increase spirit by 800. But Lin Moyu still don't buy it, because even though it's quite good, that's all there is to it. When Lin Moyu was looking around, he hears someone shouting that what kind of broken weapon is this? Why is it 50000 points? It doesn't even have an attribute. He asked that where did this garbage come from? Are they sure this isn't some shitty weapon? All this noise attract Lin Moyu's, so he goes there to check. He was surprised that this item cost 50000 points. At this price, not many people in the academy can afford it. That weapon is Lonatus Sickle. It's a growth type weapon, they can be used from level 1. That sickle was part of the Death Spirit set. It can be used as Reaper. When the Danatus Sickle absorbs the soul of the Abyss, it will gain experience points for growth. It can also be used as Deathly Speaker. It consumes spirit to summon a deceased Herd General. The Herd General will inspire and form an army formation with his own undead summons. Lin Moyu was confused. What is Death Spirit set in summoning a Hero General? But his skeleton warriors are in need of a leader. Moreover, that is part of a set. Lin Moyu know that although it has no attributes at all now, and is pure garbage in the eyes of others, but it can actually absorb the souls of abyss demons for upgrading. So Lin Moyu decide that this is what he want. When receptionist saw what Lin Moyu want, he asked Lin Moyu again if he's sure he want this. He asked Lin Moyu if he know how much this costs. He didn't see the price wrongly, right? Lin Moyu said he didn't, and he give his card receptionist. But when that receptionist put Lin Moyu's card in point machine, he was to shock to see that Lin Moyu has 130,000 points. He can't believe his eyes that Lin Moyu has that much points. As receptionist saw Lin Moyu going away with that sickle, he get happy because that sickle has been in the trading center for a very long time. He didn't think today would be the day it finally found an owner. In exchange of those silver grade equipments, Lin Moyu get tons of skill scrolls. Lin Moyu thought that since there's no abyss demons for him to try this sickle out on yet, so he'll just use the scrolls to get some new skills first. 
He thought that with this many scrolls, he should be able to gain at least a few new skills this time. Lin Moyu picked up a skill scroll and infused it with his spirit energy. He obtained skeleton armor, skill, skeleton armor summons. Skeletons to form armor providing 100 points of physical defense at the same time. It increases the resistance of oneself and summons to elemental attacks by 10% lasting for 5 minutes. This skill can be used on others. Lin Moyu thought that defense skill are not bad. Finally a skill that can protect him. And with Lin Moyu's blessings, the 100 would be increased to 1000 physical defense and resistance to 100% of elemental attacks. Lin Moyu used the skeleton armor skill and a giant skeleton armor cover his body. Lin Moyu picked up another scroll and infused it with spirit energy. After that he summons a skeleton warrior. But it was not a simple skeleton warrior. It was a dark iron grade skeleton mage. It has 100 strength, agility, physique and 300 spirit. It can use burst flame skill. Burst flame deals, fire damage to the target with attack power determined by spirit. Lin Moyu thought that like him, only the spirit is very high of this skeleton mage. But its skill is based on the amount of spirit anyway. He thought that with this, the skeletons can now attack from afar. And if Lin Moyu continue to level up and train his skills, the skeleton mages will get stronger and stronger. Then the next day when Lin Moyu's spirit fully recovered, he decided to go ask the white god about the task now. When Lin Moyu goes there, Bai Shen asks him why is he here. Lin Moyu told Bai Shen that he is already level 20. He asked Bai Shen that what's the task. Bai Shen was shocked to hear that Lin Moyu is already level 20. Hasn't it only been one day this speed is even faster than Bai Shen? Bai Shen thought that this siblings are both monsters. Bai Shen laughs and told Lin Moyu that the task is simple. Lin Moyu just need to help him get something. He said that since Lin Moyu have been to the dungeon hall, then he should know that there is a large dungeon called Tyrant Desert in the dungeon hall. Lin Moyu's task is to go to the Tyrant Desert dungeon and retrieve the Tyrant Heart. As a large dungeon that can hold 40 players, Bai Shen won't say much about the difficulty of the dungeon, because Lin Moyu should already understand. He told Lin Moyu that as long as he bring the Tyrant's Heart back within three days, Bai Shen will help him get a beginner cooldown talisman. Bai Shen said that the cooldown talismans is not comparable to that of dungeon halls. The cooldown time of some top-level dungeons can even reach one month. When Lin Moyu encounter those instances, it's time for the cooldown talisman to truly come into play. Moreover, advanced cooldown talismans are upgraded from beginner cooldown talismans. If Lin Moyu can complete the task, Bai Shen will tell him how to upgrade the talisman too. Lin Moyu was surprised to find out that one can actually upgrade talismans, Lin Moyu said. All right. He'll bring back the tyrant's heart. Bai Shen told the reason for giving Lin Moyu three days is because the school will hold its opening ceremony in three days. He hoped Lin Moyu won't be late. When Lin Moyu left Meng Anwen comes there, he asked Bai Shen if he's satisfied with Lin Moyu. Bai Shen said that the more he look at Lin Moyu, the more satisfied he get. He's very quiet, but Bai Shen like him that way. Meng Anwen said that with Lin Moyu's personality, he's definitely going to solo the dungeon himself. He remember Bai Shen went into the dungeon at level 30, and then came out with nothing. Bai Shen couldn't say anything to that, but he told Meng Anwen that Lin Moyu now is far stronger than the him back then. When Lin Moyu get to the dungeon hall, everyone looks at him. Because he is the one who yesterday set the new records, Lin Moyu was looking at the tyrant desert. But that's a large dungeon, everyone thought is Lin Moyu going to break the record for that too. Lin Moyu saw that the record for Tyrant Desert is made by Phylong Academy. Forty people cleared it in 16 hours. 45 minutes, 18 seconds. Phylong Academy, Lin Moyu thought that they're probably the same level as Qianlong Academy. But he was amazed that it still took them 16 hours to clear even with 40 people. Shu Han was also there when she was Lin Moyu. She comes to say hello. When she was Lin Moyu checking information about Tyrant Desert Dungeon, she asked him, Is he going to the Tyrant Desert? She was was amazed that Lin Moyu cleared so many dungeons yesterday, but he didn't rest today. He's way too hard working. Lin Moyu said yes, he is going to get the tyrant's heart. Tyrant's heart word was enough to shock Shu Han, because that's something only the final boss of the dungeon will drop. She told him that the tyrant's heart can be used to make a powerful boss accessory, the tyrant's necklace. The heart is dropped once every year, and it has been two years since the tyrant's heart was obtained by someone. She again asked Lin Moyu. Is he really going to challenge the Tyrant Desert? She asked him. How is he going to do it? He only reached level 20. She asked him that if he is going to do it, where is his other party members? 
Don't say he is going to solo clear it, because the record Phylong Academy set has been unbroken for four years. Shu Han was too shocked that she didn't realize she is in the way of other hunters. A hunter who was wearing golden armor was right behind her. Just when she fell, his presence Shu Han immediately moved from the way. There were many other hunters with that hunter. All of them were wearing golden black armor. All the people in the hall recognized those hunters. They're from the Bailey Academy. They've been preparing for a long time to set a new record for the Tyrant Desert. All their equipment is even gold grade. Their leader told all his members that this time, the Bailey Academy will surely set a new record. He asked everyone to get ready. If anyone dares to back down now, they will face the heavy punishment. When Lin Moyu find out that they're going to clear the Tyrant Desert too, he realized that he have to make the first move. He started going in the dungeon. Everyone were surprised that Lin Moyu really went in alone. They all couldn't believe that he's really going to clear it alone. There has never been anyone before who tried to clear a large dungeon by themselves. If he really succeeds, then he's making history. When Bailey Academy's hunter hear that someone is clearing the Tyrant Desert alone, he looks there to see which newbie is it. He thought that did no one tell this newbie that Tyrant Desert, a large dungeon, he shouted, and told his all members to forget about that suicidal brat. They have everyone here so prepare to teleport. Inside the Tyrant Desert dungeon, the sun is directly overhead, so Lin Moyu can't use it to determine his direction. He thought that since it took 16 hours for this dungeon to be cleared, the place must be extremely big. So he decided to map out this place himself. He summoned some skeleton warriors and ordered them to go in different directions. Lin Moyu thought that entering a large dungeon requires 500 points, and refreshing the cooldown takes 2,000 points. If it's like this, the 8,000 points he have now won't last long. Just when he was thinking all this, his skeleton warrior found a monster. That was a desert ghost tree. It's extremely strong, elite level. 25 monster. His skeleton warriors started fighting with it. Lin Moyu thought as expected from a large dungeon. The attribute of an ordinary monster here can take on the level 24 leader in the Merfolk dungeon. If his skeletons hadn't upgraded to silver grade, it would have taken quite some effort to deal with this. And with a final strike, skeleton warriors killed the desert ghost tree. He got a message that he killed level 25 desert ghost tree. For it he obtained 300,000 experience points. Lin Moyu was surprised that the experience given is also the same as the level 24 leader. He thought that if all the monsters in this dungeon give that amount of experience, then this place is a treasure land of experience. He summons skeleton armor, thinking that since danger can be hidden anywhere in the desert, it's better to play safe. Lin Moyu started going forward with his skeleton warriors, then two hours later they found an oasis. He thought that if it's an oasis of the desert, majority of the monsters might be gathered here. And just as he expected, level 25 oasis scorpion, who were hiding in the sand, attacked his skeleton warriors. He thought it's good thing he didn't just rush in. Skeleton warriors used rage strike and killed that level. 25 Oasis Scorpion. He obtained 300,000 experience points and three sharp tail stinger of the scorpion. Lin Moyu saw that the scorpions have gathered around some tree which has some king of fruits. It was surprising for him because this was his first time seeing that the dungeon has consumable items too. He summons more skeleton warriors and ordered them to go and bring back those fruits. He leaves some skeleton warriors to block the scorpions, so the remaining can gather up all the fruits. A skeleton warrior comes and present that glowing green fruit to Lin Moyu. He was confused. That did the scorpions gather here because of this fruit? What kind of effect do they give? That is desert oasis fruit. It can quickly recover huge amounts of spirit, but it must be eaten within five minutes of harvesting and cannot be stored. When he eat one fruit, his spirit went up. He was surprised because spirit was recovering fast. Lin Moyu thought that if there are enough fruits here, then he basically have an unlimited supply of spirit. He summons the skeleton mage. Thinking that this place is the best place to practice and level up his skills, he was worried about how to level up his skeleton mages but not anymore, because if he can refill his spirit endlessly, then that means he can constantly summon the skeleton mages. He thought that as long as he level it up to level 20, then the skeleton mages can become silver grade 2. Lin Moyu continued to eat the spirit fruit and upgraded his skeleton. Then three hours later, all his skeleton mage reached level 20. He finally did it. He summons all his skeleton warrior again. He has Lich, type silver grade skeleton mage. He also has fire type skeleton mage, which use flame burst. Skill, he has electric type skeleton mage, which use thunderbolt skill. And he have wind type skeleton mage, which use tornado skill. Lin Moyu looks at the monsters. 
They all were having so much fun killing Lin Moyu's skeletons. He told them that it's their turn now to die. All four of his skeleton mages were ready to attack. All the skeleton mages used their type of strong spell and attacked the tyrant desert scorpion. Some scorpion born to death. Some scorpions freezing in ice. Some scorpions get cut by wind. Lin Moyu said, this large scale war is starting to feel like what a large dungeon should be. When those scorpions whole army come to attack on Lin Moyu, he was not surprised because he have his own army too. He summoned all his skeleton warriors. Currently, he have 130 skeleton warriors and 70 skeleton mages. Dark green flames surrounded the whole ground, and Lin Moyu's skeleton warriors answered his call. This feels like as long as the monsters are the same grade, Lin Moyu can clear a large dungeon alone. All the scorpions and skeleton warriors charge at each other with full power. To top it of Lin Moyu also use his corpse explosion skill. Skeleton warriors joint attack. Skeleton mages powerful offensive spells. And now Lin Moyu's corpse explosion. This was the complete annihilation of those desert scorpions. System messages were coming like crazy. Even editor cannot keep up with Lin Moyu. After this all-out war, the area around that oasis got insanely silent. Lin Moyu was little surprised and disappointed because he still haven't leveled up his other skills. He thought it would be good if there's always that many monsters. But since his skeleton mages have leveled up to silver grade, it's about time he look for the dungeon boss. The longer he drag things out, the lower his chances are of getting the tyrant's heart. Suddenly Lin Moyu felt that a sandstorm is coming from his back. But that was not a simple sandstorm. It was a sandstorm with monster horde. Lin Moyu immediately used his skeleton armor. The monsters that attack him. His time are level 26. Desert Soldier Ant. When they get near Lin Moyu, he jumper in sky to avoid them. He get on the ground and saw that ants didn't attack him again. Instant the go on their way. Lin Moyu even pull out his Loanata's sickle to fight them. He saw that there is a huge hole in the ground and all the ants were going inside it, so he followed them. From inside that hole was even more huge. Is this the soldier ant's nest? He saw some level 27 desert flying ant. They are extremely strong elite monster. Lin Moyu was surprised to see flying ants. Because flying ants are considered the personal troops of the queen ant. It looks like the boss here is the queen ant. Suddenly when that flying ant saw Lin Moyu in their territory, they attack him. But his Lin Moyu's skeleton armor work very well, and he didn't take any damage. Lin Moyu asks the ants if they are bullying him, because his skeleton armor isn't leveled up. He summons his wind skeleton mages. The wind mage use his spell to make a big tornado. Flying ant got crusted in that tornado. Other ants flew away by the wind. Then Lin Moyu call out all his soldiers. He ordered all skeleton warriors to look where the queen ant is. As for this ant skeleton mages, and he can handle this area alone. Again, just like with scorpions, another one-sided mascare was done by Lin Moyu and his skeleton mages. After few few minutes skeleton warriors finally found the ant queen. Lin Moyu said he won't waste any more time and head over to introduce himself to the boss. Desert Queen Ant is a level 29 leader level monster. With the queen. There were also queen's personal army. They are level 27. Extremely strong elite monster. Lin Moyu was standing in front of the queen with his own army. He was quite surprised to see the ant queen. He thought she would be a challenging boss. But it looks too boring to him. He told his soldiers to go and play with her. But before they could attack, Ant Queen use his storm strike. Sand comes flying towards Lin Moyu. His skeleton armor cover him. He was surprised that skill that's the same grade as his soldiers is indeed strong. He thanked God that he have the skeleton armor. He ordered skeleton mages to stall the queen's army and warriors to go for the killer. When fire mage use their spell to stall the queen's guard, skeleton warriors take this opportunity to attack the queen. But to their surprise and queen use a defensive skill hardened shell. By Fire Queen's guard got killed, but Ant Queen used her sonic wave attack to kill the skeleton warriors. Then Queen used Curl skill and form a defensive work around himself, and use Summon Ant's skill. When Lin Moyu saw that Queen is using a defensive skill, he said it's a waste of time, he revive his warriors. He was about to attack the Queen, but suddenly he saw that a whole ant army is charging at him from behind. He was surprised that this is the Queen's skill that summons ants. If it was other hunters they would be little scared but our main character. Lin Moyu is a different breed. Now he pull out the big cards. He use his almighty corpse explosion skill. All the ants were now just looking to die. Just like the name corpse explosion is a broke skill. Lin Moyu turns that large ant nest into their grave. When he killed Desert Queen Ant, he obtained 800,000 experience points. He also obtained Silver Grade Weapon Queen Ant Spear. And he also obtained Silver Grade Accessory Queen Ant Ring. 
and the last thing he obtained was Desert Queen Ant Egg. When Lin Moyu get all those things, the first thing comes in his mind was that these items obtained can be exchanged for a lot of gold coins. He was happy because his experience has also increased significantly, with just clearing the oasis and ant nest. One time his experience reached 78%. He said it's a great place to farm levels, but unfortunately he don't have much time. He'll come here to farm experience again next time. He decided to let's the tyrant's heart first. And just like that two hours passed. In this time Lin Moyu fight and killed many monsters. And at last he reached the Black Castle. The owner of the castle is Lion Tyrant, a world-level leader. And he also have a big army of lion soldiers. In front of that huge castle, a army of lion warriors were patrolling. Lin have found the right place. This time, this is the Tyrant Dungeon's main floor. On the castle walls desert lion archers were standing. They are level 29, extremely strong elite monster. They use 100 arrows skill to shoot 100 arrows in one go. Their attributes are a lot higher than the flying and soldier ants. The soldiers in front of castle were using spears. They are desert lion warriors. Level 28, extremely strong elite monster. They have 4,000 average stats. Lin saw that the desert elite monsters are moving in formation. It seems Lin won't be able to use the same tactic he used with the Oasis and Ant monsters. But organizing an army is something Lin know how to do as well. He pull out his deathly speaker and summon Hero General. This new summon is different from Lin's other skeleton warriors, because this summoned creature Hero General is five times that of the size of normal skeleton warrior, and the only skill it use is military influence after summoning the Hero General Lin. Also summons all his skeleton warriors, Hero General raised his wand and used military influence skill on the skeleton warriors. Lin ordered Hero General to follow Lin's will and lead his soldiers. He ordered them, go forth and defeat the enemy. All the skeleton warriors get more powerful because of Hero General's military influence. When the desert lion archer from the castle walls saw the skeleton warriors army charging at them, he alerts all the desert lion warriors desert lion archers use there. Hundred arrows skill and shoot thousands of arrows at Skeleton Warrior the whole. Sky was covered by their arrows but Skeleton Warriors used their swords to cut down the arrows. Now, it was the time for Skeleton Warriors to attack. All the Desert Lion Warriors could see the fire, because now, the Skeleton Mages join the fight. Skeleton Mages use Thunderbolt and attack the castle walls and the nearby Desert Lion Warriors. Lean said, It's a pity enemies' bodies are inside the castle. Lin won't be able to use Corpse Explosion because of it. But at least he have skeleton mages. Hero General used normal skeleton warriors rage strike and started killing the lion warriors. Lin command half of his mages to concentrate on destroying the main gate. Skeleton mages use their different type of fire, ice and wind spells to destroy the main gate. Lion archers were continuously shooting arrows at skeleton warrior. Lin noticed that it's been a while already, but the gate is still untouched. The fight was getting more intense as time passed. Now Lin understand that this is a large dungeon. The party would have to work together and find different ways to open this gate and meet the final boss. Lin concludes that all the troubles with this mechanism all come from insufficient firepower. He orders Skeleton Warrior to stack Lion Warrior's bodies at the city gate. Skeleton Warriors make a mountain from Lion Warrior's body. Then Lin use his corpse explosion. Skill on the bodies, instead of exploding one by one their bodies explode. In one go and that main gate of the castle wall got destroyed, Lin entered the castle with Hero General and all the skeleton warriors and mages followed them. In the main hall of castle was the king's throne, on the king's throne Lion Tyrant. A level 31 world level leader was seating. His skills were Hell Roar, Fury Pounce and Revolving Storm. But the most intimating thing about him was his blue eyes that show how powerful he is and how he is looking down on the world. That's a world level boss. Lin now felt that boss monster is indeed on a whole different level from other bosses. When the lion tyrant stand from his sit he was hundreds times bigger than Lin's size. Lin said sorry to lion tyrant because he is in a rush. Lion tyrant used his fury pounce and jumped high. Lin also summons his silver grade skeleton warriors who has 4000 of average stats. When the lion tyrant landed on the ground. Just the impact cursed too. Skeleton warriors to death. Lion Tyrant roar and was going to use a fire attack. Lin order skeleton mages to stop him. Skeleton mages use thunderbolt and paralyze at the same time on Lion Tyrant. Lion Tyrant, stop for a moment 
and all the other skeleton mages attacked him with their strongest attack. Lion Tyrant's shield got destroyed because of that attack, but he was unscratched. Lion Tyrant was angry. He pull out his two aches and use his revolving storm skill. He spins so fast that skeleton warriors who were near him flew away. 24. Skeleton warriors have died in that attack. That wind was so strong that it even reached Lin who was quit far. Lin know that not even knight professionals will be able to withstand this kind of attack power. Lion Tyrant was on move again, so Lin decide that he'll make Lion Tyrant stop in one place. Lin use slow curse on Lion Tyrant when Lion Tyrant get tied by Lin's curse chains. He use hell roar, just his roar killed 14 skeletons. In front of that roar Lin's skeleton armor can barely last 2 seconds. Even when Lion Tyrant was tied by slow curse chains, he used his fury pounce and jumped higher in sky. Since Lin have damage transfer, he was not scared, but he know they if he hesitate now. His skeleton warriors might get wiped out. At last, Lin use his ultimate skill, Soul Blaze. And as expected of ultimate skill, Lion Tyrant fall on the ground. Lin saw that there's a chance, and he order every skeleton to attack Lion Tyrant. All the skeleton warriors and mages attack Lion Tyrant with their weapons and spells. But Lion Tyrant was not going down that easily. He lost his one axe, but he was still able to kill skeleton warriors with his other axe. But fight was going from both sides. Skeleton warriors used their rage strike to attack Lion Tyrant. Lin again used Soul Blaze. He know that he can't stop with the Soul Blaze. This time if he hadn't leveled up his mages to silver grade. He would have died here. Twenty minutes later, after continuous attack of flame burst, tornado, ice storm and thunderbolt. It was time for Lion Tyrant to get down. And at last, Lion Tyrant fall. Lin approve. That Lion Tyrant deserved the Tyrant title. System message comes that Lin had killed Lion Tyrant. He obtained two million experience points. Lin obtained gold grade weapon, Tyrant's battle axe, Tyrant's sword and Tyrant's staff. He also obtained Tyrant's Heart, whose drop rate, cooldown is one year. Tyrant's Heart is a special item, an essential material in making the Tyrant's necklace. Just when that Tyrant Lion dies, Lin also level up. He laughs because he totally forgot. He was level 20 while fighting the boss. Now Lin is level 21. Necromancer with 400 average strength, agility and spirit. Also, all his summoned skeleton mages upgraded to level 21. Lin was surprised to see that. All his skeleton mages also leveled up. Now Lin realized that if he fully learn his skills in the future, then all his skeleton mages will level up with his level. Lin said that if that's the case, then he should quickly level up the rest of his skills. Or else it's going to get more difficult in the higher levels. Looks like he'll have to fight the Lion Tyrant again and depend on the Oasis Fruit to replenish his spirit. On the other hand, outside in the dungeon hall, six bells rings. Everyone were surprised because it's been a long time since they heard the bell sound. Six times. Six bells means a new record has been set in a large dungeon. Everyone were curious to know who is it that set the new record. Suddenly, Bai Li Academy's Bai Li Xing comes forward. Bai Li Xing is the grandson of the Bai Li Academy's headmaster. He claims that the new record was set by their Baili Academy. But at the same time, another hunter said that since Lin also went in, could it be him? Bai Lishing was surprised. He asked his members that who's Lin Moyu? Which academy is this Lin from? And what party does he belong to? Bai Lishing said he can't believe there'd be someone else who dares to compete with them. A member of his party told Bai Lishing about Lin Moyu. Bai Lishing started laughing like crazy when he hear that Lin went in alone. He asked his party members if they are kidding with him. Tyrant Desert is a 40 people large dungeon they're talking about. For Lin to go in alone, he really doesn't know his limits. Other hunters don't agree with him because they have already seen Lin Solo clear the dungeons. They ask Bai Li Sheng that what do he mean by only a party can enter the dungeon. Hunters told Bai Li Sheng that Lin is someone who already set a new record for two dungeons. Bai Li Xing laughs and asks that what's so great about setting new records for two low-level dungeons. Lin at most is level 20 now and a large dungeon isn't so simple to clear. He said that this time's record was definitely set by their Bailey Academy. Suddenly the tyrant. Dungeon clear information comes out. System announced that the tyrant's heart has spawned. Now cooldown time is 364 days, 23 hours. Everyone were to stunned when they hear that. A tyrant's heart has spawned. 
They all have heard that the lion tyrant is unbelievably strong, and if one don't kill it within an hour, the tyrant's heart won't be dropped. A hunter said that even though he is a fan of Lin Moyu, he is afraid. This time the record was really set by Bailey Academy. Bai Lisheng was surprised himself. He laughs and started bragging that not only did their hunters set a new record, they also got the tyrant's heart. They're going to get that boss accessory soon. Suddenly more information comes about Tyrant Desert Dungeon. System announced that a new record has been set in the large dungeon Tyrant Desert. Record holder is Lin Moyu, who is level 21 necromancer and he took 14 hours. 11 minutes, 43 seconds to clear the dungeon. Bai Lishing and all the hunters were to shock to hear that the one clear. The dungeon is Lin not Bailey Academy. Then when Lin comes out of the dungeon, everyone surrounded him. This is amazing. They still can't believe it was actually Lin. A hunter said that for one person to solo clear it and set a new record while being faster than the Bailey Academy. That's too amazing. Bai Lishing was very angry. He stand in Lin Moyu's way and ask him if he is Lin Moyu. Lin was thinking that he need to quickly get back and finish the task given to him, so Lin walked past Bai Lixing and told him that he is busy. When other hunters saw that Lin ignored Bai Lixing, they cannot stop laughing. A hunter said that the Bailey Academy must feel so embarrassed this matter will definitely spread throughout the academies tomorrow, who asked them to be so full of themselves now they're getting what they deserved and being cruelly trampled on by Lin in their face. But a hunter noticed something and asked other hunters if anyone realized that Lin is level 21. Now then, that means he went in at level 20, solo clearing a large dungeon at level 20. Is that something a human can do? That's too terrifying is this, the strength of a necromancer. Sometimes later at Bai Yi Yuan's office, when Lin called Bai Shen, Bai Shen, ask him what's the matter can't he find a party. Lin Moyu replies that he've obtained the tyrant's heart. At first Bai Shen didn't hear what Lin said to him. He told Lin to don't worry if he can't find a party. Bai Shen will recommend a few people to him. Hold on, what did you just say? After a few seconds, Bai Shen understand what Lin said. Lin again told him that he've obtained the tyrant's heart. Bai Shen was to surprise Bai Lin because Bai Shen just give Lin the task and Lin already managed to get it. Bai Shen asked Lin where is he right now. Lin said he is at the entrance of the dormitory. Bai Shen told Lin that he will get him from there and ended the call. Suddenly a beep sound from Lin's communication device come. It was a new notification that says this. Since Lin have set a new record for the Tyrant Desert, so he have obtained 5,000 points and 30 contribution score. Lin said that the rewards are pretty decent this time. Too bad. It's a one-time thing though. Just when Lin was thinking suddenly a spiritual aura surrounded Lin's body, Lin was surprised as he was unaware about this unknown aura. That aura fully covers Lin in it. Lin got teleported in a different place, and Bai Shen was the one who did it. Meng Anwen was already there. Lin Moyu greets Mr. Meng. Meng Anwen is a divine level formation master. Meng Anwen asked Lin, come and take a seat. He told Lin that there is no need for such formalities as he is an easy-going person. When all three of them sit down, Bai Shen asked Lin to take out the tyrant's heart. Lin said, yes, and take it out. When Meng Anwen saw it, he immediately recognized it. Meng Anwen said that it's indeed the tyrant's heart. Bai Shen asked Lin if he solo cleared it this time too. When Lin said yes, Bai Shen asked him what was his clear time. Lin told Bai Shen that he cleared the tyrant's dungeon in 14 hours. Both Meng Anwen and Bai Shen were stunned to hear the clear time. Meng Anwen laughs and asks Bai Shen to better keep his word. Bai Shen said he know and throw a cooldown talisman towards Lin. Lin was very happy to get a cooldown talisman because with this, his speed of leveling up can be increased. Bai Shen, Lin if Lin is in a rush to enter the creation seminary, Lin said, yes but he need a lot of contribution score. Setting three records gives him 90 contribution scores and he need 1000 to enter the creation seminary. Lin asked Bai Shen that can he use this cooldown talisman at the Yuan battlefield too. Bai Shen said yes, he asked Lin how is it, is Lin with, okay accepting this task, Lin get said no problem, he thought he can get contribution scores, faster now, Bai Shen said alright, he told Lin to go and get some rest, now, he'll send Lin to the battlefield, once the school opening ceremony is over, Lin thanked Bai Shen and left, when Lin left, Ming Anwen asked Bai Shen if it be okay for Lin to go there at such an early point, Bai Shen asked Meng Anwen if he didn't seen that Lin can solo clear a large dungeon. 
Lin is only level 20, but his skills already far exceed some who have evolved their professions twice. The earlier Lin goes there, the better it is for him, Meng Anwen was asking, it because Bai Shen didn't tell Lin that humanity's greatest enemy is there as well. Since Lin have cleared a lot of dungeons that day, he decide that he won't think too much now. He'll sleep first and head over to the Tyrant Desert to level up his other skills tomorrow. On the other hand, Bailey Academy's hunters who goes to clear that dungeon comes back. When other hunters who were in Dungeon Hall saw that the people from Bailey Academy have returned, they started laughing because Bailey Academy's hunters looks happy, thinking that they've set a new record. A hunter laughs and said that there's gonna be a sight to see. Bailey. Academy's hunters were to happy thinking that they've managed to clear the dungeon in 15 hours 58 minutes, which means they've set a new record. They started chanting all hail Bailey Academy. Other hunters were laughing at them. When a Bailey Academy's hunter saw the information boat of Tyrant Desert Dungeon, he goes to his leader. Am tell him that there is something's wrong. He told the leader that the new record is of someone who get the tyrant's heart, but they didn't obtain the tyrant's heart. So who got it? Leader goes to see who is he and was too shocked when he saw that. The one who cleared is Lin Moyu, a level 21 hunter who cleared the dungeon in 14 hours. 11 minutes 43 seconds, Bailey Academy's hunter team. Leader was more shocked to see that someone solo clear the dungeon. Leader thought could it be that man who enters the dungeon just before they entered. He shouted that it's impossible, that man is only level 21. So how can he clear the dungeon faster than them? Another hunter asked the team, leader to let's go back first and talk later. All the hunters in the dungeon were talking that they really didn't think they would get to see the Bailey Academy get hit in the face twice today. A hunter said that this is way too hilarious. Their pride must be shattered. Lin is way too overpowered. And the Bailey Academy is nothing compared to him. When the Bailey Academy's hunter hear them talking, he get more angry. He asked his team to return first. Then the second day, when Lin wakes up from his sleep, his spirit was fully recovered. He goes back to Dungeon Hall. Lin was thinking that if he can find some Oasis Fruits again, he'll use that chance to max level his slow curse and skeleton armor skill today. Suddenly a man approached Lin asking him if he is Lin Moyu, who solo clear the Tyrant Dungeon. He told Lin that the headmaster of Bailey Academy wants to meet Lin, so Lin have to follow him. He said that very rudely, so Lin didn't reply him and move on. That man get very angry when he saw that Lin just ignore him. He said that Lin is too bold don't Lin know who Bai Li Xing is. Lin said no, he don't know. And if that Bai Li Xing wants to see Lin, then he should come to Lin himself. That man was very angry but Lin totally ignore him and goes directly to the tyrant dungeon. Dungeon cooldown time for it was 9 days and reset. Cooldown was 2000 points and to enter dungeon, 500 points was needed. Lin was worried thinking that resetting the dungeon and entering it again will cost him a total of 2,500 points. When the other hunters who were in the dungeon hall saw Lin, they thought as Lin going to solo clear the tyrant desert again. A hunter said that now, when Lin is familiar with the dungeon, he's going to go in and set a new record again. Shu Han was also there. All the hunters surround her. They all ask Shu Han that their task hasn't been completed yet. Can she help them ask Lin if he can take them to clear the Tyrant Desert? They said they can pay Lin points, since Lin can solo clear. He can definitely take them with him, and they will pay him points. Shu Han want a refuge at first, but all the hunters were basically begging her. They said that they will not ask for experience equipment or even materials, Shu Han said. All right, she'll help them. On the other hand, that Bai Lishing's underling goes back to him and report that Lin Moyu refuses to come and demands that Bai Lishing see him himself. Bai Lishing said, Lin is bastard who really don't know his limits. His underling agree with him saying that Lin is too rude. Bai Lishing said that does Lin think he's great just because he cleared the tyrant desert. It's just a low level large dungeon. Lin doesn't understand the second job change. And no matter how strong Lin is now, he may become a piece of trash after the second evolution. Bai Li Sheng laughs and said they since Lin doesn't want to give them face, then they should ignore him. If they encounter Lin outside in the future, they will teach him a lesson. On the other hand at the dungeon hall, Shu Han told Lin everything. Other hunters who were with Shu Han ask Lin to take them to clear a dungeon once. They just want to complete the task. They ask Lin to please take them along and they will pay 1000 points. 
everything aside. Lin was surprised to hear that it's a task, Shu Han said, that it's the dungeon task issued by the Academy. Don't Lin know it? A hunter told Lin that they've been stuck at the Tyrant Desert task for too long. If they don't complete it, then it's impossible for them to enter an academy. He said that they don't want experience, equipment, or materials. They just want to clear the dungeon. Lin said sorry he is a new student so he didn't know. What everyone were shocked to hear that Lin is a new student. Now they understand why Lin's level is so low. Then all the hunters surround Lin and ask him to take them with him. They can pay Lin points. A hunter said he'll give 1,000 points, so all of them started shouting that they'll also give 1,000 points. Lin thought that he don't have much points after buying his equipment and resetting the dungeon and entering will cost 2,500 points. But if it's 1,000 per person, then he'll be able to earn 39,000 points, because the max amount of people that can be brought into the dungeon is 40. Lin said, All right. He can help them with the task and they will pay the 1,000 points accordingly. However, Lin have a request. All the hunters get happy when Lin agree they ask please go ahead and tell what he want because they just want to clear the task. They don't want anything else they'll listen to Lin. Lin told them that if they find the oasis fruit it's Lin's. No matter what. Shu Han was surprised when he hear the oasis fruit because that's almost never seen in the dungeon. That fruit is extremely rare, and they've never even thought about ever seeing it. That they'll definitely give them to Lin if they ever come across them. Lin said, All right, he can only bring 39 people in one go. Who's coming with him first? When Lin said that all the hunters rush at him, saying they want to go first. Some hunters ask, Lin to let them go first, because they've been stuck at this dungeon task for almost a year. But Shu Han get angry. He shouted and told everyone to be quiet. She told everyone to queue up nicely and stop fighting amongst yourselves. If Lin Moyu gets irritated and decides to change his mind, what are they going to do? Then all the hunters get in line to go in the tyrant dungeon. When Lin get all the 39,000 points, he thanked his senior sister Shu Han for the trouble. Shu Han said it's nothing so Lin asked her if she have completed her task. Shu Han said yes. She told Lin to do his stuff and don't mind her. Lin told her that if she have any tasks in the future that she want to do, she can look for Lin. Shu Wen laughs and said, All right, if that time comes, Lin can't reject her. Then when Lin entered the dungeon with other hunters, he told them to follow behind and don't run ahead. Hunters told Lin to don't worry, they'll follow Lin. And if Lin say to head east, they'll head east. And if he say to squat, they'll squat. Lin summons his skeleton warrior, and all the ground around Lin get covered in dark green fire. Within the fire, Lin's skeleton warriors comes out. Lin orders them to go and find the oasis fruits. All the hunters were to surprise to see Lin's skeleton warrior. A hunter asked that are those Lin Moyu's summoned creatures? No wonder he's a necromancer. They're all undead summons, but isn't that way too many? That's to terrifying Lin's profession is definitely legendary level. Suddenly level 25. Desert ghost tree which is extremely strong. Elite monster comes out of the ground. But Lin's skeleton warriors kill them with one shot. What everyone were to shock to see them killing. Level 25 monster in one shot. A hunter said that it took his party at least two minutes to kill this ghost tree. Last time, Lin is too terrifying how strong are his skeletons. When level 21 silver grade. Skeleton warriors kill the desert ghost tree. Lin only gets 7,500. Experience points instead of 400,000 points. Lin said as expected. The experience given with 39 other people here is way too little. He thought that it's good that he can get 39,000 points, but he should solo clear again a few times after this, because his main objective now is to level up his skills. Few minutes later when the hunters saw that Lin gathering the monsters they got worried. Lin gotten over 100 monsters, and Lin summoned the skeleton mages. Hunters thought is Lin going to rely on their skills to kill all the monsters in one go. But when Lin reached the oasis, he saw that there is no oasis. Fruit there. It looks like he was lucky the first time. Because the oasis fruit isn't something that's commonly found. Lin said that since there's Nomi he should kill the boss quickly and enter again. And suddenly the skeleton warrior started killing the monsters like crazy. Everyone were surprised they asked that what is going on. But Lin don't reply them instead. He used his ultimate corpse explosion skill on the monster's corpse. All the corpse around that oasis started exploring. And with that other monsters who were nearly also get killed. Lin saw that his experience is going up non-stop. They want to know that how fast is Lin. Killing these monsters. 
When a hunter saw that, that explosion is Lin's skill. He was too shocked. He said that isn't that just way too overpowered. Lin turned around and told other hunters that he've cleared most of the monsters nearby. They should wait here. He'll call them again after he clear the ant nest. Hunters said no problem. They asked Lin to take their time. All the hunters were very scared thinking that hasn't it only been three hours since they entered the dungeon. But they all were in a state of confusion throughout the dungeon. A hunter said that if he hadn't seen this efficiency with his own eyes, he wouldn't believe it at all. Lin goes to hunt down the desert ants and all the other hunters were waiting for Lin. Twenty minutes passed and everyone were bored. A hunter suggests that why not they go and attack a monster. Since Lin Moyu was killing them so easily, maybe the monsters here aren't that difficult. Thought comes to everyone that should they try. They thought that as professionals their level is also higher than Lin. They should at least be able to kill a monster. Otherwise it feels like they've barely participated in a dungeon attack. And in just two minutes they encounter the desert scorpion. A guy who goes to lure monsters accidentally lured in two. Everyone get ready for battle. Supports. Ready there. Heals. A guy use his taunt skill. Everyone that this scorpion isn't fully grown, so they should keep there. Cool. Tanker goes in front to stop desert. Scorpion's moment. But that desert scorpion hit that tanker too hard that he goes flying. Other hunters were shocked to see that this scorpion has such a strong attack. They immediately ask support to heal the tanker. While the tanker was recovering, he asked others that where's their damage dealer. A mage told him to stop shouting and focus on fighting. But the damage dealers couldn't do anything to that scorpion. Scorpion has 6,000 physique. Hunter's attack deal to little damage to the scorpion. A hunter shouted that what kind of damage are they all doing? Scorpion again hit the tanker. Then two hunters from back jumped and asked everyone to leave it to them and retreat first after a intense battle. Finally they were able to kill that desert scorpion. They all were too exhausted after killing a level 25. Scorpion. They get 7,000 experience points each. Now they realize that it's way too difficult. The monsters here are ridiculous. Everyone thought is this how they are in large dungeons. Now they all know that this is what Lin Moyu fights all by himself. He's too incredible. When Lin was hunting desert ants, he also get the system notification that a level 25 oasis scorpion has been killed. Lin thought these guys are too much they really can't sit still. When the hunters stop after killing one desert scorpion, the other scorpion, they lure, also attacked them. That tanker stop his attack and ask other hunters to stop sitting around because there's still one more here. Then everyone remember that they lured two of the scorpions. All the hunters were scared. They don't know what should they do. They all there way too exhausted to fight anymore. Now they regrets that they should have listened to Lin Moyu's words earlier. That desert scorpion run with high speed towards the hunters. But suddenly, Lin's skeleton warrior jumped from hunter's back at that scorpion. Skeleton warrior use his rage strike skill and slice that desert scorpion into two. All the hunters were to stunned to see that. Lin's skeleton warrior killed that desert scorpion in one shot. They finally understand how strong Lin's skeletons are. It killed in that scorpion in one hit. That's way too overpowered. A female hunter was crying and thanking God that Lin left one skeleton behind to protect them. A hunter said that everything is right but it's been over 10 minutes and Lin still hasn't killed a single monster. Other hunter told him that Lin is definitely gathering up all the monsters again. It's not like they haven't seen Lin doing it just a while ago. Suddenly when they were talking, hundred of system message started coming that Lin has killed my desert ants. For every desert ant, they were given 8,000 experience points. All the hunters were too shocked because their experience was rapidly increasing. This was too much for them to digest. A guy said looks like Lin is already at the boss. He said he have heard that there's an extremely strong ant queen that is super difficult to fight. Other said he too heard that. If one don't deal enough damage, the queen can heal herself and never die. A girl get angry after hearing them talk like that. She asked them if they are still underestimating Lin Moyu. On the other hand, Lin has already killed all the desert ant and queen's bodyguards. Only queen was alive, so Lin use his corpse, explosion skill to kill her. System message comes that level 28, queen ant has been killed. Everyone get 20,000 experience points. Hunters were shocked because just a second ago, they were praising the queen for being strong and Lin killed it instantly. Isn't that just way too fast? Lin come and ask everyone to let's go. They're heading straight to the tyrant castle next. Lin was thinking that he need to finish this quickly and reset the dungeon again. All the hunters get nervous to just imagine how strong Lin is. When everyone reached the tyrant castle, they all were too amazed. 
It was first for some to reach this deep into the tyrant dungeon, but all their excitement turned into fear. When that see so many tyrant lion warriors in front of the castle, that was practically an army. A guy asked others to just imagine. If Lin Moyu continues to solo clear this dungeon, he can probably reach LVL 30 in half a month. Fight start, and Lin Yu's same tactics from before. He used corpse explosion skill on the dead bodies of the tyrant warriors, who were killed by his skeleton warrior, to blow up the castle walls. Castle gate turned into dust when Lin used his corpse. Explosion everyone were stunned because they can't believe one can attack the castle like this. If their attack power is high enough, they can brute force their way through. When the castle gate got destroyed, everyone could see the lion tyrant. That was their first time seeing a world-level boss. Everyone were too far away from lion tyrant but they were shaking from the pressure of Tyrant. Everyone decide to retreat further because they don't know how long Lin Moyu is going to take. Lion Tyrant stand up from his sit to fight Lin. Lin and Lion Tyrant meet again, but Lin again said sorry to him because he is in a rush. Lin start Lion Tyrant's hunt, his skeleton warrior, climb up on Lion Tyrant to attack. Others were watching the fight from apart. A guy asked other that why does it feel like the world level? Boss is just a normal monster in front of Lin Moyu. Lin looks so relaxed, fighting the boss that they feel like they could take on the boss might too. Other guy told him to go ahead then. He just hope they don't wet your pants. He laughs and said he is just joking. Suddenly system message comes that level 31. Lion Tyrant has been killed. Everyone get 50,000 ready experience points. Everyone get too emotional when Lin killed the Lion Tyrant. They started crying because they finally completed the task. Everyone thanked Lin Moyu. They said Lin is the best. They've been stuck at this task for two years, and now they can finally move on. Lin used teleportation command to teleport back. When Lin come back, another batch of hunters were ready to go in. Lin thanked Shu Han for helping. Under Lin of Bai Lixing was that Lin has comes out of the dungeon. He informs Bai Lixing. Bai Lixing told him to follow Lin and figure out how he cleared the dungeon by himself. There were still too many hunters in line. Shu Han told Lin that they've been stuck at this task for a very long time. After they heard that Lin is carrying, they all rushed over. Lin asked everyone, if everyone know the rule. Everyone reply in sync yes. They ask Lin to don't worry. They won't take anything. Bai Li Sheng's underling also get in the Lin. Then when Lin was going in for fourth time, then that Bai Li Sheng's underling get chance to go. When Lin entered this time, he hoped that there's oasis fruit this time. Everyone follow Lin and reach the oasis. When Lin saw the oasis tree, he get happy because finally, there were oasis fruit. He can now level up the rest of his skills. There was still a day and a half before the opening ceremony, so Lin thought he'll clear the dungeon a few more times before then. Lin's skeleton warriors started killing the desert scorpion. Being carried is just way too awesome. They thought spending the 1000 points is worth it. Lin used his skeleton warrior to completely destroy the monsters. They all were amazed that Lin can actually do that. They all realized that this is impossible for them to do alone. When Lion Tyrant comes to fight, Lin, Lin ended the fight within seconds. This is unreal. They all want to know that how long did Lin take this time. A guy said, this time Lin only takes 7 hours, so that record. Lin Moyu set previously isn't his limit. Every time the dungeon get cleared, all the hunters start crying. Bai Lishing's underling immediately teleported. He know that Lin is way too terrifying. He hurry up because he need to tell his boss. He comes out and told Bai Lisheng everything. Bai Lisheng said, okay. So Lin uses corpses to deal Ao damage and has a ridiculously strong skeleton army, which means as long as they restrict Lin's summoning and there are no corpses around, Lin is basically useless. Bai Lisheng said that there are weaknesses in every profession and it looks like this is the weakness. He asked his underling to go and find Ling Zhen from Qianlong Academy. Bai Lishing smile thinking that he'll definitely make Lin pay for snatching away the boss accessory from there. Bai Li Academy and embarrassing him. Ling Zhen arrived there to meet Bai Lishing. On the other hand at Xia Jing Academy dormitory. It was Xia Zhui's room. Xia Zhui remember her father telling her that she need to save up on points. Xia Zhui was angry because there's so many good things in Xia Jing Academy. It's too bad they all need points so she can't buy them. She really envy Lin Moyu. Because with 30,000 points, Lin can probably buy anything he wants. She heard from Principal Lu that Lin Moyu reached the academy a few days ago. So she is now wondering how he's doing. But she know that with Lin's strength, he probably won't have any troubles. 
Then the second day, principals were having a meeting. Ning Tairan, Ning Yiyi's grandfather and the dean of Xiajing Academy, was very angry at Lin Moyu. Bai Shen asked him that what's wrong. Bai Shen know that Lin Moyu has a calm personality, so how can he be acting overboard? Ning Tairan show them that Lin is collecting money to carry other students through the tyrant desert. Bai Shen asked Ning Tairan that isn't that normal. There have always been things like this. Ning Tairan said that Lin is carrying 39 people by himself because of that all the people who got stuck during the tyrant desert task in the recent years are now clearing it. Bai Shen laughed saying that Lin is pretty good. He didn't think Lin would carry 39 people. The fee is quite expensive too, so Kin definitely won't let those people down. Ning Tairan was getting angry. Hearing all that, he asked Bai Shen that it's not like he don't know the purpose of the academy issuing tasks like this. It was their intention to filter out the outstanding ones with the large dungeon. Getting stuck at this task is their problem. But in the end, Lin Moyu just destroyed the system. Bai Shen said he know but what can they do? The tasks and rules are all set by the academy, and Lin Moyu has not broken a single rule. Bai Shen said he is not satisfied with these tasks in the first place. How many talents have they seen over the years that, just because they weren't good at socializing, they couldn't find a party and got stuck at this task? Bai Shen said he feel that Lin Moyu has done a very good thing. Meng Anwen agree that the academy system is too old-fashioned. It's about time to change the hundred-year-old system. Ning Tairan slammed the table and yelled that both of them are the exact same. Bai Shen told Ning Tairan to calm down because his temper is still this bad at his age. He told Ning Tairan before, if he dare touch Lin Moyu, Lin Moyu will take away the dungeon palace. Ning Tairan left in anger. Meng Anwen told Bai Shen that Ning Tairan's temper is something that won't change. Bai Shen told Meng Anwen that there's only one person in this whole world who can handle Ning Tairan. On the other hand, at the Tyrant Desert Oasis, Lin was using his level 21 skeleton armor. Now when he summons a skeleton armor, his increases defense by 2100, cooldown time is 5 minutes and it can be used on other people. Lin was happy because after eating countless Oasis fruit, the skeleton armor has finally leveled up. With his talent's blessing, his defense is increased from 21 thunder to 21,000 instead. Now he can probably take the Lion Tyrant's attack head on. Next he use his level 21, slow curse skill on Desert Scorpion. Now his slow curse and curses enemies in a 105 meter radius and slows them down by 105% for one minute. His slow curse has leveled up too and the slow debuff has reached a higher stage, but he was sad, because the corpse explosion can only be leveled up with corpses. If not, he would have used this opportunity to level the skill. On the other hand, at Academy One Hour has left before the opening ceremony. Wan Ming and Jia Xu were together because both of them don't have a lot of points. They chose a dual room dorm, but didn't expect that they would be roommate. Jia Xu said she don't have a lot of points, but she'll settle the payments for their meals while they were walking. Wan Ming saw someone, it was Feng Shu from Xia City who was also in top 4. In test, he is a swordsman and handsome, so girls like him. When Feng Shu saw Wan Ming and Xia Xu, he comes to say hello, while they were talking. Wan Ming asked them if they have seen Lin Moyu, name now is level 22. Necromancer his tests are 400 average strength, physique and agility, 2000 spirit and he is only equipment with level 11, Danatus Sickle, his active skills are level 22, Soul Blaze, Summon, level 22, Skeleton Warriors, Summon level 22, Skeleton Mages, Corpse Explosion, level 3, level 22, Slow Curse and level 22, Skeleton Armor, Lin was happy because he is finally level 22, now once he have level, his skills to the max, they will now level up at the same time, after clearing the Tyrant Dungeon, times Lin comes out, Lin thought that after carrying the dungeon so many times, he have about 350,000 points now, but that's still far from enough. One intermediate grade skill scroll costs 80,000, and he can only buy four currently, he know that. In order to understand intermediate grade skills, four scrolls is definitely not enough. Looks like he need to find a way to earn more points, so for now, he decide that he should attend the opening ceremony. In front of the academy's main building, everyone has gathered, there's about 10 minutes left before starting of the opening ceremony, but there was no traces of Lin. Xia Xu and others were worried that why is Lin still not here? Suddenly Feng Xu saw Lin coming. When Lin was walking the aura, his body was releasing was enough to scar everyone. 
Shiasue, Wan Ming and Feng Xu were stunned to see that Lin has gotten stronger. It looks like he has become a lot more amazing now. Shiasui saw that Lin still has the aura of battle around him. He definitely just came out from a dungeon. Not only they, all the new students and audience were also scared to see Lin. Is that Lin Moyu the top scorer in the country? Lin looks a bit different now, and everyone were little scared to look at him. For everyone Lin was top scorer, but for Shiasu, he was her classmate and biggest competitor. She call him Dummy Lin. She call him to come over to them. Lin was surprised to see them all gathered. Shiasu said of course, they wouldn't be here if they didn't get in. Wan Ming asked Lin, what's his level now? Lin reply, that he is level 22. They all were shocked, because it's barely been a few days, and Lin is level 22. Chiashu, ask him that. How did he level up so quickly? Lin don't know why are they surprised like that. If it weren't because he was carrying other people, he would have been level 24 now. Feng Xu said he have heard that in the dungeon palace. One can spend points to reset the cooldown of a dungeon. Razu said that Lin is the top scorer in the country, so he can squander as much as he want with his points, but it's a different case for them, and so they need to save. Wan Ming also said that points are too difficult to earn. Lin Moyu was again confused because for him, points were not that difficult to earn. He remembered the bank messages of getting 39,000 for every dungeon he cleared. Suddenly the bell rings and the ceremony started. Professors welcome students to Ziajing Academy. Professors said they believe that everyone were geniuses on campus during their high school. But that's all in the past. Now they all have one new identity. The freshman of Shia Jing Academy. He told students that the academy is divided into ordinary students, academic students, and top students. These three social classes enjoy different resources and benefits, so new students should try to climb up the ranks. Professor said that in Xia Jing Academy, they also follow a tradition during the opening ceremony and that is to challenges between the freshmen and seniors. Seniors can challenge new students, and the seniors will pay corresponding points. The freshmen can refuse, but if they win the points paid by the seniors will belong to them. Of course, regardless of whether the new students win or lose, they don't need to give anything. This is the perfect chance for new students who don't have a lot of points to earn some points now. The capable freshmen shouldn't miss this opportunity. Bai Shen, Meng Anwen, and Ning Tyran also come to see the ceremony. They all were flying in sky. Bai Shen said that this is the same old cliché way of suppressing new students and letting them know the depth and severity. This is to pointless. Ning Tairan said that these new students are top scorers from all over the world. Each one relies on their talents and are very proud. Bai Shen smiled because he was wondering if anyone will challenge Lin Moyu. Meng Anwen, told Bai Shen that there's no way there'll be people who would be so foolish to challenge Lin when new students hear that. There is no penalty for losing and a reward for winning. They thought it's such a good deal, but they know that their level and skills are way lower than the seniors. So how can they win? Seniors were too relaxed and new students were in lots of pressure. A magician used his magic to make a fighting arena and told freshmen to don't worry because the challenge will be held on a professional martial arts platform. The formation on the martial arts competition platform will suppress both levels and the lower level one will prevail and skills above level 20 cannot be used. The formation will protect them from fatal injuries and there are also divine level healers in the school to ensure their safety. Then the game start with a senior archer challenging a freshman archer for fight. Freshmen accept his challenge, and both of them move to arena to fight. Some students recognize that guy because he's one of the top scorers, but it's only just the beginning of a great day, when Lin was talking with Xia Xu and others. Suddenly someone challenged him. The one who challenged Lin was Ling Zhen. Ling Zhen taunt. Lin saying that since Lin is the top scorer of this whole country, so do he accept, or is he scared now? When Lin saw that persistent bastard Ling Zhen again, he get angry, Lin thought. It's too bad he have to fight Ling Zhen in the academy. So he couldn't kill him. Lin asked Ling Zhen that how many points is he paying. Ling Zhen replied proudly that he is paying 5,000. Lin told him that it's too little. Ling Zhen was stunned when he hear that 5,000 is little for Lin he asked Lin. Then how many points do he want? Lin point at Ling Zhen and told him that if he want to fight Lin, it will cost 100,000 points. All the people present there were too shocked to hear Lin's demand. 100,000. 
People who were present there only have 5,000 to 7,000. Ling Zhen, ask Lin, is he joking? Do Lin even know the meaning behind a 100,000? Do he even have that amount? If not then, there's no point. Lin with serious expression, ask Lin, Zhen that, how about they make a bet with the amount of points Lin have right now? If Lin win, Ling Zhen will give Lin the amount of points Lin have. If Lin lose, he'll give Ling Zhen all his points. Lin ask, do you have the guts? Ling Zhen was now into much pressure. Xia Su was surprised to see Lin because this is the first time she heard Lin talk so much. It looks like Lim and Senior Ling Zhen have a history together. Ling Zhen was to nervous thinking that why is Lin so confident? If Ling Zhen don't accept the bet, then he is going to lose face. But then Ling Zhen thought that how many points could a new student possibly have? Moreover Ling Zhen have a backing too. Ling Zhen said what's there to be scared of he accept? Bai Shen said, fool Ling Zhen will die the fastest during battle. Meng Anwen calculate that Lin Moyu should at least have 300,000 points after carrying so many people. But Ning Tyren don't like Lin. He complains that it's a dishonest methods. Then both level 21, Warlock Ling, Zhen of Baili, Academy. And level 22, Necromancer. Lin Moyu country's top scorer goes into the arena. When the other hunters saw Lin in an arena. They immediately recognized him as the guy who set a new record in the dungeon palace. They call Lin Godly Lin. A guy said he can't believe Lin is a new student. He was just carried by Lin in the tyrant desert yesterday. He said Lin should be earning 40,000 every time he clears that dungeon. That means Lin must have quite a lot of points on hand now. So if Lin wins then this is going to be interesting. Ling Zhen taunt. Lin that what bullshit about being top scorer. In front of him Lin is just a pile of shit, but instead of getting angry, Lin reply with a taunt, that Ling Zhen's level is lower than Lin's, Ling Zhen get angry and start shouting that he've excellent qualifications, since he was young and he entered the academy for training. He said he is a genius, that can't be compared to the likes of Lin and ordinary people. Lin again say the same line that Ling Zhen's level, is lower than Lin's. Ling Zhen get to angry and shouted that, so what if Lin's profession is strong? Lin was just lucky, but on the battlefield, battle experience is more important. Lin with a straight face said, the same line. Ling Zhen's level is lower than Lin's. Ling Zhen get to angry and can't talk with words now. He cursed Lin that did Lin's parents not teach him to talk properly. When Ling Zhen talk about Lin's family, Lin get too angry and gaze at Ling Zhen's with his killer-like eyes. Ling Zhen got sacred to see Lin's gaze, his body freeze on the sport. That gaze was same as before in the dungeon palace. Ling Zhen was scared, thinking, Is Lin really wants to kill him? Ling Zhen asked Lin that don't Lin only have the summoning and corpse explosion skill. If there are no corpses and Lin can't summon, wouldn't he be useless? Lin didn't reply. Instant is raised his hand and summoned a skeleton warrior. Lin warned Ling Zhen that if it weren't because of the academy, Ling Zhen would be dead by now. Skeleton warrior jumped to attack Ling Zhen, but Ling Zhen didn't dodge. Instead he pull out a purple stone and smashed it. Lin's skeleton warriors turned into dust and returns back into summoning space. Lin was little confused. He check, but it looks like his skill has been sealed. He can't summon any skeletons. Ling Zhen laughs like crazy and ask Lin if see that. He told Lin that this is a summon seal, talisman specially made to deal against summoners. He shouted that now, Lin can't summon, and there are no corpses around, Lin is completely useless. He raised his wand and used his reign of fire skill. Ling Zhen told Lin that if he can't kill Lin today, he'll at least let Lin experience the pain of burning. Lin thought this pretentious bastard is crazy. Let's see how long he can last. Ning Tyren said that Ling Zhen is playing dirty. He used a summon seal talisman, which is specifically designed against summoners. Meng Anwen said it seems that someone behind him is targeting Lin Moyu. Because that talisman is an intermediate grade item and should not be something Ling Zhen could have obtained. Bai Shen asked them to just watch. Ling Zhen will pay the price for it. Ling Zhen attack. Lin with fire. Lin call. Ling Zhen stupid. And use his skeleton armor for defense. Lin was fully covered in fire. Lin said, it's good thing. Ling Zhen passed level 20. If not, Lin wouldn't be able to use. Level 20. Skills. Ling Zhen laughs like crazy saying that his skills are too powerful. He asked Lin that how does it feel to be burnt alive. But when fire get down Lin comes out unscratched from it. Lin's skeleton armor work perfectly. Ling Zhen was shocked because that's impossible. He was confused that why isn't his skill working against Lin. Ling Zhen said, 
It's impossible he again use his fire magic to attack Lin, but Lin's skeleton armor is too overpowered. Ling Zen use different type of magic, but none of them work against Lin's skeleton armor. After Ling Zen use everything he had he stop. Lin again taunt him if Ling Zen is done, because he is getting bores after seeing Ling Zen's weak skills. Lin Yu's soul blaze on Ling Zen Ling Zen's whole body was on fire. He starts screaming in pain. He started vomiting blood, and blood started coming out of Ling Zen's eyes. Divine Healer immediately comes to heal Ling Zen. Divine Healer was scared because if it weren't for the protection on the battlefield, Ling Zen wouldn't have lasted until she got there. Everyone were too shocked to see Lin's and Ling Zen's fight. They barely saw anything. They only saw Senior being instantly killed. A guy said isn't that way too fast, that warlock's skill didn't deal damage to Lin Moyu at all. Lin started walking towards Ling Zhen. Ling Zhen was too scared of Lin. He told Lin to don't come closer. He was in too much pain. Even when a divine healer was healing him, Lin told him that he have lost. Ling Zhen thought as long as he can keep his life. Points or whatever don't matter. He shouted that he'll pay the amount of points Lin have. Referee announced that Lin Moyu has won the battle. Referee told Ling Zhen that according to the agreement between both parties, Ling Zhen needs to pay 3,500 points to Lin Moyu. What Ling Zhen was shocked to hear, how much he have to pay Lin Moyu. Ling Zhen was shocked. He said, There's no way. How long has it been since Lin came to the academy? How could he have that many points? There must be a mistake. The professor made a scary face and asked Ling Zhen if he is saying that a professor is lying. Ling Zhen immediately realized his mistake. He lowered his head and said, No, that's not what he meant. The professor asked Ling Zhen to hand over his points now. The scared expression on Ling Zhen's face was enough to tell that he didn't have that amount. The professor told Ling Zhen that his total of 128,000 points would be transferred to Lin Moyu first. The remaining points, whether Ling Zhen borrows money or not, must be paid off within six months. If Ling Zhen doesn't pay it off, he will be expelled. The professor told Ling Zhen that he knows his background, and the school will personally ask his family for compensation. Lin got 128,000 points from Ling Zhen, and he left from there. He walked past Ling Zhen, who was all shocked and confused. Xia Zui comes running and asks Lin how did he become so strong. She asked Lin if it's alright if they clear dungeons together in the future. Lin said, sure. Suddenly, Lin received a message on his communication device. It was from Bai Shen. Bai Shen asked Lin to get ready. They will leave in an hour. Lin was surprised. Bai Shen did say that he'll bring Lin to the UN battlefield after the opening ceremony. But Lin didn't expect it to be so quick. Lin left from there. Feng Xu and Wan Ming came to Xia Xue. She told them that Lin is going to the UN battlefield. He's really not going to take a break. When Feng Xu heard the name Yuan Battlefield, he said he had heard it's the real battlefield and the front line of the human race. The human race and the abyss have been fighting there for thousands of years. Wan Ming said it's very dangerous there. But there are also many dungeons, secret realms, and opportunities. After Lin left from there, he directly went to the weapon center to sell things. Lin sold the gold grade equipment for approximately 2 million gold coins. At present, he has a 140 skeleton warriors and 70 skeleton mages, so other equipment is not very useful to him. In this moment, Lin is level 22 with an average of 360 strength, physique, and agility. His spirit is at 1700, and he is wearing the Thanatos scythe as a single equipment. Then, both Lin and Bai Shen go to Old Meng. Bai asks him to take both Lin and him to the Yuan battlefield. Old Meng uses his power to teleport them. But before going to the Yuan battlefield, Lin and Bai Shen go to Shengxia Tower. Lin gets excited to see it, and Bai Shen tells Lin to take it slow. Bai Shen knows Lin has two chances to enter the tower, but he has to wait till his second evolution before coming here. That way, Lin can gain more here. A spiritual light comes from Shengxia Tower, forming a magic circle to teleport both of them. They arrive at the Yuan battlefield, where a big eye-shaped thing is flying. Lin, who shocks everyone with his talent, is shocked himself after seeing the Yuan battlefield. In front of the gate, many guards are standing. Bai Shen and Lin get teleported in front of that gate. Bai Shen tells Lin that the thing in the sky is called the Demon Watcher, specifically used to monitor the abyss and prevent them from sneaking in. When both of them are going towards the gate, those guards see the badge Bai Shen is wearing and they stand in respective positions to greet him. Lin is amazed to see Mr. Bai's influence. 
Bai Shen sees through Lin and laughs, telling him he knows what Lin is thinking. He tells Lin that guards don't care about their identity as long as they have this badge. He says he will get one for Lin in a while. Then Bai Shen takes Lin to the sergeant badge processing office. Bai Shen asks the receptionist to make a sergeant badge for his companion. The receptionist who was playing games gets angry when Bai Shen disturbs him. He stands up and asks, which mindless bastard is disturbing him? When the receptionist sees the purple five-star badge of Bai Shen, he immediately changes his attitude and greets the general Bai Shen. The receptionist is under pressure after seeing Bai Shen. Bai asks him to hurry up, saying they are in a rush. The receptionist agrees to do it straight away. Lin gives him his identification card. The receptionist is amazed to see a five-star divine general, but is more curious to know who Lin is and how he got the divine general to personally come here and ask to make a sergeant badge. Lin receives a white badge. Bai Shen says this is a sergeant badge and tells Lin to wear it and not keep it inside his inventory. It can keep count of how many abyssal monsters Lin has killed when he is fighting. White is the lowest rank of private, followed by the black sergeant, silver captain, gold major, and purple general. The stars above represent the military achievements made in this rank, and the more military achievements, the more stars there are. It adopts a 10-star promotion system, so if Lin exceeds 10 stars, he can be promoted one level. For Bai Shen's rank, there are no more than 10 five-star divine generals in the entire Shenxia Empire. Lin immediately wears the badge, and Bai Shen asks him to let's go, because there's still a place they have to go. The next place they go to is the Hall of Heroes, where many sergeant badges are floating around. Bai Shen tells Lin that this is the place where they worship their ancestors, called the Hall of Heroes, who died on the battlefield as heroes, even after death. They will not return to the heavens and continue to defend the Shengxia Empire with the power of their soul, Bai Shen said. Even after death, I will not return to the heavens and continue to defend the Shengxia Empire with the power of my soul. Shenxia's younger generation, Bai Yiyuan, pleads with the imperial sages to bless his junior. When Bai Shen said those words, the Tower of Destruction, one of Shenxia's three divine towers, shone brightly. With it, all the badges also shone, and then Lin's body started glowing. Bai Shen told Lin that the Tower of Destruction has given him his spiritual imprint. A star from Bai Shen's badge disappeared. He told Lin that in this way, even if Lin dies on the Yuan battlefield, they still have a way to resurrect Lin. It can be considered his second life. Lin was too shocked about resurrection, but he was more amazed that Mr. Bai consumed a whole star of merit just to give him a second life. Is this the meaning of bless his junior? Lin sincerely thanked him. Bai Shen told Lin not to worry about it. When Lin arrives at the Yuan battlefield, just kill more enemies. Bai Shen officially told Lin about the Yuan battlefield. He told Lin that the war fortress of the Shenxia Empire is called the Eternal Great Wall. There are a total of nine fortresses, arranged in a row, separated by over a thousand kilometers, which constitutes the Eternal Great Wall. Both Lin and Bai Shen were standing on top of a wall. Bai Shen told Lin that the fortress they are in right now is the first fortress, and it is also the front line unlike other countries that often need help. The Shanxia Empire has never been breached by abyssal monsters since the completion of the Eternal Great Wall. There are many dungeon entrances in the UN battlefield, but abyssal monsters will prevent humans from entering dungeons or ambush them at the entrance. The battle before the dungeon is the most intense and dangerous, so Lin must be careful. He told Lin that he should buy more teleportation stones that can teleport back to the fortress. That's all Bai Shen has to say before going. He told Lin that the rest is all up to Lin now. Then Lin tries to go into the wild. When the guards on the gate see that Lin is level 22, they ask Lin if he came with his parents. They try to warn Lin, saying that the weakest monster outside is level 30, and abyssal monsters will appear too. It's too dangerous. Lin thanks them and says he will go and see. When Lin goes out, he sees that the abyss aura is too strong, and the visibility of the area is very bad. Lin is just walking when suddenly his skeleton armor gets activated. It was an attack. Lin couldn't see it because it was an invisible monster. Lin's skeleton warriors come out, swinging their swords using Rage Strike. When the skeleton warrior hits it with Rage Strike, it becomes visible. A system message appears, stating that it's a battlefield ghost, and it has physical immunity. 
The skeleton warrior attacks with the sword again, but it doesn't work. Lin says, As expected, physical attacks don't work on it. Lin summons the skeleton mages, thinking that since it's immune to physical attacks, he will use elemental attacks. Both the ice and fire mages use their powerful attacks and strike at the battlefield ghost. And their attacks work, killing the ghost. A system message appears, stating that Lin has killed a level 30 battlefield ghost and 300,000 experience points are given to him. Lin also obtains Soul Breath. Soul Breath contains the will of the deceased on the battlefield and can enhance weapons and equipment. Lin is surprised that a normal monster in the Yuan battlefield can drop an item like Soul Breath. Lin thinks that since there are monsters immune to physical attacks, there might be monsters immune to elemental attacks as well. If something that's immune to both physical and elemental attacks appears, then his skeletons will be useless. So, Lin needs to be on guard. Lin continues to kill all the monsters that come his way, thinking that after walking about two hours, he should be reaching a dungeon soon. Suddenly, he hears a voice, looks in front, and sees some hunters running in Lin's direction, asking for help. As they run past Lin, they suggest he run away because there are abyssal monsters. Lin gets curious when he hears that there are Abyssal monsters. Right after those hunters, a level 31 Abyss Hound comes following them. The Abyss Hound has 5,000 strength, physique, and 6,000 agility, with bite as its basic skill. Lin walks towards them. The hunters, while running away, see that the Abyss Hounds have changed their target. They think Lin is done for. Lin sees that the Abyss Hounds have something stuck in their teeth and realizes that they have eaten a person. Lin gets angry to see that and says, Dogs like you should die. He pulls out his Thanatos scythe and uses its power on his skeleton. Level 22 Silver Grade Skeleton Warriors come out to fight the Abyss Hounds. One Abyss Hound gets crushed by the Skeleton Warriors' Rage Strike. The Skeleton Warriors start killing all the Abyss Hounds. When Lin kills a level 31 Abyss Hound, he gets 300,000 experience points, and a star appears on the badge he is wearing. Lin gains one merit and obtains an Abyss Hound Fang. Lin's level 1 Thanatos Scythe, which is a growth type weapon, levels up by 3.33%. It gains a new skill, Reaper. The Reaper skill will be used when Thanatos Scythe absorbs the Abyss Souls, gaining experience points for growth. Lin is amazed that he can finally level up this weapon, realizing that he needs to kill about 30 Abyssal monsters to get it to level 2. Lin looks at the Abyss Hounds in front and says, since this is the case, all of you should become my merit points. He raises his hand and uses the corpse explosion skill, creating a huge explosion that hits all the abyss hounds. The hunters who ran away earlier are shocked to see that explosion. One says, what kind of skill is that? Is that young man a high-level professional? Another says, I've never seen a profession that can summon undead type creatures. Lin gets another star in his badge, saying, as I get my merit points, my scythe can also level up. It would be great if there were more abyss hounds though. The Thanatos scythe levels up to level 2, and Lin's spirit increases by 100. Lin is surprised, as he didn't know that attributes would be added when the scythe levels up. When Lin killed those abyss hounds, it triggers another dangerous abyss creature to move. Only its eyes were shown, but that creature is confused about why a group of dogs suddenly died. It concludes that if they encounter a high-level professional. However, the Abyss creature decides to let it go and sends more Abyss Hounds instead. There were thousands of Abyss Hounds under that monster's control. Then, some time later, at the Dragon Frontline Post, a level 26 dungeon. When Lin is walking towards the dungeon, other hunters who were waiting there get surprised to see Lin. They're surprised because Lin doesn't look any older than 20. A hunter says, This boy has a white sergeant without a single star, which means he is a private. And since he has a five-star emblem, this means he is from Shenxia. When the hunters find out that Lin is from Shenxia, other hunters from Shenxia approach him. A hunter asks Lin about his level and if he wants to join their party. They mention that they are all from Shenxia and can help him out a little. Lin says, It's okay, thanks, and goes towards the level 26 dragon frontline dungeon. The entry requirements for this dungeon are level 21 to 31, with recommendations for normal level 4 people, nightmare level 6 people, and hell level 12 people to enter together. 
Lin was happy to see that, there's finale a hell level difficulty. He said, I've been clearing nightmare levels previously so I'll try hell level this time. When the other hunters saw Lin going alone, they got worried for him. Lin is still the future of Shengxia, so they can't just let him die like that. They approach him again, saying that they still have a slot in their party. It doesn't matter what level he is, they'll carry him. However, Lin goes inside the dungeon without replying to them. Those hunters were shocked that Lin went in alone. A hunter from Shenxia said that going in alone into the dungeon, isn't that just asking to die? A hunter from another country makes fun of the hunters from Shenxia, saying that the people from Shenxia all love to talk big and show off. He takes out a device and says, let me do some investigating. All the people there were surprised because the device he has was a dungeon detector that can detect dungeons. That hunter throws the dungeon detector into the dungeon and says, My dungeon detector can detect how many teams there are in each difficulty level within the dungeon and whether there are casualties. A system message shows that in normal difficulty, one party was in and there are four survivors. In nightmare difficulty, two parties are in and there are twelve survivors. And in hell difficulty, one party and one survivor were in. Hunters from Shanxia were too shocked when they saw that Lin has gone to hell level difficulty. He just wants to die, doesn't he? That other country's hunter laughs and says, The younger generation from Shanxia is so stupid. It's the first time I've seen stupidity at this level. He laughs and asks the Shanxia country's hunters how long they think that guy can survive inside. Shanxia country's hunters shout, Shut up! They point their swords at him and ask if he's looking for trouble. The hunter gets scared and says he was just kidding. He knows that Shengxia people want their dignity no matter what. Shengxia country's hunters tell that other country's hunter to keep his mouth clean. If someone from country Y dares to provoke Shengxia, then they will die too badly. Shengxia country's hunters say Lin must be an extraordinary talent if he's able to come here alone. He would have been the future of Shengxia. What a pity. On the other hand, at the Dragon Frontline dungeon where Lin was, Lin was amazed to see the dungeon. He said it has a completely different feel from nightmare difficulty. It feels like something has been restricted. Suddenly, a system message comes that Lin's inventory cannot be used. Lin thought that if the inventory cannot be used, then this means he can't use items and won't be able to use the teleportation stone to escape. Lin now realized that this is what a hell level dungeon is. Lin said, I'm sure the monsters here will be tremendously strong. And just when he said that, some monsters appeared. Those were the first humanoid monsters that Lin was going to fight in the Hell Difficulty Dungeons. Those humanoid monsters are level 31 Dragon Spearmen, a Hell level elite monster with 10,000 strength and physique and 6,000 agility. Those Dragon Spearmen have the Sweeping Spear skill. When those monsters saw Lin, they go to attack him with their spears. Lin gets serious after seeing their stats. He tells himself to focus. Lin thinks, so this is hell difficulty. The attributes of just one soldier already far surpass those of my skeletons and even the super-enhanced elite monsters in large dungeons. It's about the same as a nightmare dungeon boss. The level 30 dragon spearman and the level 22 silver-grade skeleton warrior were facing each other. Both soldiers get into a fight. Dragon spearmen immediately use their sweeping spear skill and the skeleton gets stunned because of that. Lin is surprised that the sweeping spear skill has a stun effect. Lin also can't bring them back into the summoning space after they've been stunned. When the skeleton warriors were stunned, Dragon Spearman took this chance to kill three skeleton warriors. When Lin saw that skeleton warriors cannot take them one-on-one, -on -one, he summons the silver-grade skeleton mage. He orders skeleton warriors to surround the spearmen and mages to get ready to fire. The skeleton mage makes a fireball in his hand, and skeleton warriors surround that dragon spearman. Lin says, No matter how high dragon spearman's attributes are, it's nothing if they are outnumbered. Skeleton mage uses the fireball and burns those dragon spearmen to death. A system message comes that level 36 dragon spearmen are killed. Lin gets 600,000 experience points. Lin summons the skeleton armor, because now his skeleton warriors don't have a way to defend against the stun, so he has to be more careful. He can't let the dragon spearmen surround his soldiers, but with this difficulty, Lin smiles because, from the beginning, 
all the dungeons he's been to were too easy. He's finally found one that requires him to stay on guard. When Lin was going deeper, he saw that there were many dragon spearmen spying on them. Lin said, How agile. If that's the case, I'll use a few skeletons as bait and group them together before killing them in one shot. Some skeleton warriors go in front, and when they pass through where those dragon spearmen were hiding, the dragon spearmen come out to attack them from behind. Suddenly, the wind gets strong, and those skeleton warriors of Lin get stuck in a wind chain. Those were wind shackles. Lin is surprised because that's a mage skill. Lin looks around and sees that there are some dragon mages who are using the magic. Lin is surprised that the monsters here can actually use simple spells. It looks like they have some form of intelligence. Lin's two skeleton warriors were destroyed. Lin thinks, If I only had a few soldiers, losing these would have been tough on me. Too bad. But I have more than you think. Lin summons an army of skeleton warriors, and they charge at those dragon spearmen. Skeleton mages also get in the fight and use fire to attack those dragon spearmen. Dragon spearmen kill the skeleton warriors, but get killed by skeleton mages' attacks. Level 31. Dragon mage, which is a hell-level elite monster, attacks skeleton mages with a magic missile. Lin feels the attack on him. He immediately counterattacks with soul blaze. Lin says, They do have intelligence. They know they have to attack the skeleton mages first. But it's too late. Soul Blaze hits those dragon mages, and they die on the spot. Because Lin killed the level 31 dragon mage, he gets 620,000 experience points. When skeleton mages died, they dropped a dragon horn. Lin was surprised to see the dragon horn, and he said, Dragon horn is one of the four materials that Mr. Bai wanted, but only one dropped after killing so many monsters. It looks like the drop rate is extremely low. Lin starts going deeper, saying, Looks like I'll have to clear the dungeon a few more times to gather all the materials. He summons back the injured skeleton warriors into the summoning space. Lin reaches a ruins where many dragon warriors have gathered. Lin says, I'll continue killing with my previous method, but this time, I'll use corpse explosion. If not, I might really run out of skeleton warriors to use. Lin says, It's the first time being in a situation where I might run out of skeleton warriors. This is truly... Hell difficulty. A skeleton warrior lures out the dragon warriors, then Lin uses slow curse on them. Dragon warriors get stuck in Lin's slow curse chain. Lin summons the skeleton mages and says, It's time to attack skeleton mages. On the other hand, Bai Shen gets back to Xia Academy where Wang Anwen was drinking tea. Wang Anwen pours tea for Bai Shen and asks him if he is done. Bai Shen sets down and says, Yeah. Wang Anwen notices that Bai Shen has one less star on his badge. Wang Anwen says, Looks like you're really serious about Lin. You even gave him the spiritual imprint in the Hall of Heroes. The five-star Divine General is now a four-star. Bai Shen says, It's just merit. Lin's life is more important. Many geniuses of our human race have already died. If I can make sure that another doesn't die, I will do what's necessary. Bai Shen adds, but I've given Lin a task to collect materials from the dragon race, so he has no choice but to go to the dragon frontline post. That can be a sort of training for him. Wang Anwen says, The materials you need have a low drop rate for nightmare difficulty. Bai Shen laughs and says, That's what I'm aiming for. I gave Lin a cooldown talisman, so he only needs to clear it seven or eight times. Wang Anwen says, But the dragon frontline post dungeon has hell difficulty as well. Bai Shen gets worried when he hears that. He asks Wang if Lin wouldn't have chosen that, right? Bai Shen says, I forgot about this. I should have reminded him earlier that the difficulty level of hell and nightmare is completely different. Wang Anwen tells him not to worry, and Lin could carry 39 people alone in the tyrant desert. Bai Shen gave him the spiritual imprint so he can't die. At most, he'll just suffer a bit. Bai Shen says, Have you ever thought about what if Lin really clears the hell difficulty dungeon? Wang Anwen says, if he does, then that's simply amazing. On the other hand, in the dungeon, Lin was killing the dragon mages, but he only got two dragon horns after killing about 20 dragon mages. Lin says, My skeleton warriors are all heavily injured, but I've barely got through a third of this dungeon. This is quite tough. The monsters are strong, and they know how to combine their attacks. This is the level of a dungeon in hell difficulty. Now, Lin is curious to see how the boss will be. Lin uses corpse explosion and skeleton mages to kill the dragon mages. 
and he finally reaches a castle. On the castle walls, there were level 31 Dragon Archer Hell Level Elite Monsters. Lin is surprised when he sees that Dragon Archer has crowd control skills. Lin says, The Dragon Mages only drop the horns, so it looks like the remaining materials need to be obtained from different monsters separately. Lin points his fingers at the Dragon Archer and orders his skeleton warriors to go. But suddenly something attacked them and a skeleton warrior besides Lin got destroyed. Lin is shocked that the skeleton warrior was killed before it could react. This was the first time when Lin gets nervous. He summons more skeleton warriors, and Lin says, This is an unknown enemy, and it's extremely strong and fast. Lin wants to know what it is. When Lin reached the dragon castle, his skeleton warriors were suddenly attacked and got destroyed. Lin didn't even see anything, and the skeleton warriors were not able to respond to the attack. Lin noticed that all the attacks came from behind. He thought, no matter what, I need to find a way to stop it. I can't let the attacks continue. Lin summoned the skeleton ice and wind mages since it was an invisible monster. Then Lin ordered the mages to cast spells that affect a large area. Skeleton mages use their ice spear and wind slash attacks to cover the whole area. Because of the wind, the monster's shadow appeared. It was a level 32 hell level elite dragon assassin. Just when the dragon assassin appeared, skeleton warriors killed it. When Lin saw their attributes, he was amazed. Those attributes were extreme, and they were using invisibility with fatal blows. Lin said, With those attributes, no wonder they can kill my warriors in one shot. There were many dragon assassins. But now Lin was not scared because he knew their invisibility would be cancelled if they got attacked, and once revealed, their advantage would disappear. Now it was easy for Lin to kill those dragon assassins. When Lin's skeleton warriors killed a level 32 dragon assassin, he gained 640,000 experience points and obtained a dragon's heart. Lin was amazed to find out that this is the monster that drops the dragon's heart. Now he wondered where the blood essence and core would be. Suddenly, the dragon archers on the castle walls used arrow rain and binding, arrow skills, and shot countless arrows at Lin. Lin didn't get hit by any of the arrows as his skeleton armor got activated, but Lin thought of a great idea when he saw the archers. Lin's skeleton warriors threw dragon assassin corpses towards the castle, and Lin used the corpse explosion skill. The dragon archers were too shocked to see Lin throwing the dragon assassin corpses, and all the corpses exploded, killing the dragon archers. Lin gained 620,000 experience points and obtained dragon blood. Essence after killing the dragon assassins, and with that, Lin found out that the archers dropped the blood essence. Now the only one left is the core. While Lin's skeleton warriors were killing the remaining dragon assassins and warriors, Lin went inside the castle to search for the boss monster. There was a huge dragon statue in front of Lin, which suddenly started cracking. Then the whole statue's outer surface fell on the ground. And from it, a level 33 hell level leader, Sentry Post Guardian, came out. This was a huge monster with a face like a demon and a body like a dragon. The monster was level 33, 11 levels higher than Lin's skeletons, and it had three overpowered skills. Crowd Attack, Crowd Stun, and Buff Resistance. After seeing its attributes, Lin was a little nervous because those were terrifying attributes. It was a lot stronger than the Tyrant Desert boss, and it even had two crowd skills. Lin immediately backs off because the Sentry Post Guardian roars loudly. Even the ground around it gets destroyed. Lin says, I can't let it move freely with such high agility points. He uses the slow curse skill on the guardian dragon, tying it with curse chains and preventing its movement. Then all the skeleton warriors and mages attack it with their full power. Smoke is everywhere, making it barely visible, so Lin can't see if he managed to heavily injure the boss. In that smoke, two red eyes appear, and the guardian dragon, unscathed but angry, uses its buff resistance skill, destroying Lin's slow curse skill. The situation in battle is not good, as the slow curse is losing effect. The Guardian Dragon uses this opportunity to employ its crowd attack, destroying four skeleton warriors. Next, the Guardian Dragon uses the crowd stun skill, confusing and stunning all skeleton warriors, rendering them unable to respond to Lin's commands. 
It seizes this chance to destroy twelve skeleton warriors in one attack. Lin says, Even though I can summon my skeletons again after they've been destroyed, there's a limit to my spirit. That stun skill is too dangerous. I can't let it kill my skeletons anymore. To counter this situation, Lin summons the undead general. When the undead general comes out, it uses its military influence bluff, and the skeleton warriors who were stunned come back to their senses. Lin is surprised to find out that military influence can remove the stun. That's not all, it's shortening the stun time, but the effect is still the same. Lin is now confident, saying, My skeletons have nothing to fear if your stun skill is useless. Now, all the skeleton warriors and mages attack the guardian dragon together with full power. The guardian dragon is now taking more damage, and its physique drops fast, with only 50% remaining. The Guardian Dragon again uses the Crowd Stun skill, but because of the Undead General's military influence bluff, Skeleton Warriors are not affected. Lin says, It's useless when your control skill is gone. It's my turn to attack. But before Lin could command his Skeleton Warriors to attack, the Guardian Dragon flies and comes towards Lin to attack. Lin, not expecting this, immediately uses the ultimate skill, Soul Blaze. The Guardian Dragon uses the Stun skill, but the Skeleton Armor blocks the attack and Lin doesn't get stunned. Lin counterattacks with Soul Blaze, and all the skeleton mages also attack the Guardian Dragon. Lin says, Now die, you demon dragon. The Guardian Dragon starts to burn in Lin's green soul fire, screaming in pain. But that's not the end. All the fire mages attack with fireball attacks. Finally, Lin kills the sentry post guardian, gaining 3.3 million experience points. He obtains the gold weapon, Hell's sentry post blade the gold weapon, Hell's Sentry Post Shield, Hell's Sentry Post Bracelet, and, at last, two Dragon Cores. Lin obtains a job transfer certificate and a unique title, Dragon War King. With the Dragon War King title, Lin's all attributes increase by 500, and all skill consumption is reduced by 50%. This title is obtained by solo clearing the Hell difficulty of the Dragon Frontline Post. Lin already guessed that the boss would drop the core, but he didn't think he could get the necessary transfer certificate for the second job transfer so early. Lin says, Isn't the unique title of Dragon War King just way too overpowered? Lin also levels up, and is now a level 23 necromancer. Lin is happy that he is finally level 23, saying, Now I've collected more than a quarter of the materials that are needed. Lin needs 10 dragon's heart, and 10 dragon's blood essence, 10 dragon's horn, and 5 dragon's core. Lin currently has 8 Dragon's Horn, 4 Dragon's Blood Essence, 4 Dragon's Heart, and 2 Dragon's Core. After leveling up, Lin is now a level 23 Necromancer, with the title of Dragon War King. All his attributes have increased by 500, and skill cost is reduced by 50%. His average strength, physique, and agility are now at 900, and his spirit is at 25,000. He is equipped with a level 2 Thanatos Scythe. Lin's summoning space is 230, but there are only 210 summons right now. 140 skeleton warriors and 70 skeleton mages. In talent, Lin has 10x overall blessings. In passive skills, he has damage transfer. His active skills include level 23 soul blaze, summon level 23 skeleton warriors, level 23 corpse explosion, Level 23 Slow Curse, Level 23 Skeleton Armor, and Summon Level 23 Skeleton Mages. Lin also checks the attributes of his skeletons. Silver Grade Skeleton Warriors are now Level 23, with an average of 5500 Strength, Agility, Spirit, and Physique. They have the Rage Strike skill. Silver Grade Skeleton Mages are also Level 23 with an average of 2300 Strength, Agility, spirit, and physique. When Lin is about to teleport back, he says, Even though it's quite difficult to fight in hell difficulty, there's a lot of experience, and the equipment dropped is good. After my skeletons recover, I'll use the cooldown talisman and clear this dungeon on hell difficulty again. Lin teleports back to the entrance of the dragon frontline outpost, but what Lin sees in front is a dry land full of monster and human corpses, with a strong stench of blood everywhere. Lin summons his skeleton armor as he doesn't know what happened there. Suddenly, abyss hounds attack Lin from behind, and Lin's skeleton armor stops their attack. 
Lin's skeleton warriors come out and, using the Rage Strike skill, kill the Abyss Hounds that have surrounded Lin. Lin summons the Thanatos Scythe and gets ready to fight back, but suddenly someone attacks those Abyss Hounds from behind. They kill the Abyss Hounds near Lin and ask Lin to come to where they are. They are hunters from Sengxia country. While fighting, they tell Lin that this place has been taken over by the Abyss Hounds. A healer comes to heal him, but Lin tells her that he is not injured. The hunters tell Lin that they will block the hounds, so he should quickly use the transportation stone and get out of there. Lin asks them what happened here, and a hunter explains that the Abyss released a great number of these dogs and surrounded them. Lin sees a country's party surrounded by Abyss hounds. The Sengxia hunters tell Lin that their side has also suffered many casualties. The healer checks the people inside the dungeon and confirms that there is no one else left inside. The party leader decides to prepare to break through. The healer sees Lin still there and asks why he is still here. Lin smiles and raises his hand. The ground gets covered by green flames as Lin summons his skeleton warriors. Lin doesn't want to leave as he still wants to clear the dungeon. All the skeleton mages use their powerful spells creating a huge blast with their combined attack. Abyss hounds were sent flying in all directions. The skeleton warriors started killing all the abyss hounds with their swords. The hunters were shocked and curious about where all these skeletons came from. The abyss hounds surrounded Lin and the skeleton warriors. The hunters were bewildered, wondering where these strong skeletons came from, and instinctively followed Lin's command to retreat behind him. Lin explained that he was going to use a crowd attack skill and they might get caught in the crossfire. Lin then used the corpse explosion skill on the Abyss Hound's corpses that the Skeleton Warriors had killed earlier. A massive blast occurred, killing all the Abyss Hounds. The hunters were shocked at the terrifying skill. Lin received a system message that his military merit reached 100, promoting him to a one-star private. He obtained 1,000 points and 5 contribution points. Lin's weapon, the Thanatos Scythe, leveled up to level 3. Lin expressed surprise at receiving both points and contribution points. Lin decided not to let the hunters leave, even though he never planned to let them go in the first place. He used the corpse explosion skill again to kill the remaining abyss hounds. The hunters started speculating about Lin, thinking he might be a top student from a distinguished academy to solo clear the dungeon. They were amazed that Lin solo cleared the dragon frontline outpost in hell difficulty. Lin received another system message that his military merit reached 200, promoting him to a two-star private. His Thanatos Scythe leveled up to level 4. As the smoke cleared, Lin saw there were still Abyss Hounds left. He expressed disappointment that he could only kill around 200 Abyss Hounds and hoped more Abyss Monsters would appear. Other hunters were scared, thinking about the sudden appearance of so many Abyss Hounds and fearing a large-scale attack from the Abyss. A hunter named Shi Shingan approached Lin and introduced himself as a level 31 paladin from Xiajing Academy. Lin greeted him and introduced himself as a level 23 necromancer from Xiajing Academy. Shi Shingan smiled upon finding out that Lin was a fellow junior. He asked Lin about his batch, and Lin, not being able to tell the time accurately in the UN battlefield, mentioned that he attended the opening ceremony yesterday. The hunters were astonished to learn that Lin was a new student. Hunters looked at each other and thought, are all the new students like this? Shouldn't a new student be level 15 or 16 and focusing on the academy now? The paladin smiled and said, Lin, you just entered the academy but have this kind of strength. No wonder you're at the Yuan battlefield alone and can even take on hell difficulty yourself. I'm very impressed. Lin downplayed it, and he asked the paladin why his party wasn't entering the dungeon. Another hunter from the paladin's party joined them pointing out that the paladin couldn't tank the monsters well enough. They had tried nightmare difficulty and almost got wiped out. The paladin defended himself, saying he was only level 29 then and didn't have proper equipment. He mentioned that he was left with only the shield, and it wasn't sold anywhere. Once it dropped in the Dungeon and he completed his set, they could try nightmare difficulty again. The paladin turned to Lin and offered to sell him some equipment for a cheap price, Mentioning that the sentry post set is very good, Lin, wanting to show his own fiend, opened his inventory and took out the Hell's sentry post shield. This surprised the paladin and other hunters since it was a gold-grade defensive equipment from the sentry post set. The paladin asked where Lin got it, and Lin explained he obtained it from the sentry post guardian. The hunters were shocked, 
and Lin suggested the paladin try equipping the whole set. When the paladin wore the full set, his whole body started to shine brightly in golden light. The paladin explained that it was the full set special effect. The hunters were amazed that someone had collected the full sentry post set, which was even better than some platinum grade equipment. The paladin, excited, offered to buy the shield from Lin for 10 million gold coins. Lin hesitated but eventually agreed to sell it for 5 million gold coins. The paladin was overjoyed and thanked Lin. The hunters were grateful too, expressing their readiness to move on to the next challenge, nightmare difficulty. The paladin said they would go back first as there would be a lot of talk after equipping the full set. Lin also decided to return to recover some spirit. He destroyed the returning crystal to return to the Yuan battlefield's internet walls. Meanwhile, in the abyss space, the abyss lord was furious about the loss of many abyss hounds. He ordered his powerful warriors to investigate the situation, as the monster warrior there was releasing a strong aura. The paladin thanked Lin again expressing his surprise at gathering the full set in one day. They were now preparing for their next dungeon attack. Suddenly, Lin hears that there is a Holy Knight. Everyone is amazed to see the legendary class Holy Knight from the Zhendan Academy. Ning Yi Yi is also there and talking to that Holy Knight. When Lin sees her, a smile comes to his face. Lin says, What a coincidence. Ning Yi Yi is surprised when she hears a familiar voice and sees that it's Lin. She asks Lin why he is here. Lin responds, I came here to finish a task. Yi Yi says, What a coincidence. I'm here to complete my task too. The Holy Knight looks at Lin with curiosity. Yi Yi tells Lin to let her guess and wonders if his task is related to collecting materials from the dragon race, such as the dragon's horn. She corrects herself, thinking it might be too simple for him and suggests that his task is to get the dragon's core that only the boss drops. Lin confirms she guessed it right, but doesn't reveal that it's not just the core. Yi Yi jumps and says, Me too. I also need to gather the dragon's core. The holy knight Zhou Lisheng comes from behind and asks Yi Yi who Lin is. Yi Yi introduces Lin as her friend. Zhou Lisheng introduces himself as a level 30 holy knight, and Lin introduces himself as a level 23 necromancer. Yi Yi is surprised that Lin reached level 23 so fast, mentioning she's only level 21. Lin suggests they can team up like before, with him carrying Yi Yi in dungeons. Yi Yi agrees, but Zhou Lesheng stops her, grabbing her hand and says, Yi Yi, didn't we agree that I'll help you? Yi Yi declines his offer, saying she doesn't need his help and that Lin knows how to carry. Zhou Lesheng looks at Lin angrily and questions how Lin, being only level 23, can carry Yi Yi alone. Yi Yi rejects his assistance, and Zhou Lisheng, annoyed, says Lin is a pretentious bastard, thinking Lin is looking down on him despite Lin not saying anything. Yi Yi grabs Lin's hand and tells him not to worry, saying Zhou Lisheng is good. She asks Lin which difficulty they are going to clear, normal or nightmare. Lin surprises her by saying hell difficulty. Yi Yi is shocked when she hears that. Hell difficulty left Yi Yi too shocked. She couldn't believe it when she heard that they were going to hell difficulty. The legendary Holy Knight Zhou Lesheng had only mentioned taking her to nightmare difficulty. Lin confirmed that what she heard was right, and Yi Ji jumped in happiness. She told Lin that she had been wanting to see hell difficulty for a long time. While they were talking without a care in the world, someone was looking at them with alternative motives. It was Zhou Lesheng. He thought about what dungeons Lin could even clear at level 23 and guessed that Yi Yi would come back tomorrow to ask him to clear the dungeons with her. Then the scene changed, and we saw Lin and Yi Yi standing in front of the dragon frontline post. Lin was going to do the solo clear, but now he has Yi Yi with him. Yi Yi was excited that finally, she can experience hell difficulty. Lin used the cooldown Thalysma for the dungeon reset, and both of them entered the dungeon. Other hunters who saw them entering hell difficulty were too shocked, they said it's suicidal, recalling the last team to clear hell difficulty from Xiajing Academy's School of Creation and Divinity. Another hunter agreed, mentioning a skilled female professional, possibly called Blade Dancer. Their leaders told them to forget about Lin and Yi Ji, thinking they're probably just going to enjoy the scenery. On the other hand, when Lin and Yi Ji entered the dungeon, Lin used his skeleton armor skill and shared it with Yi Ji. Yi Ji saw it with surprise, asking Lin if this is the defensive skill he equipped her with. 
Lin told her it's for added safety and started summoning the skeleton warriors. The ground got covered by the green flame, and Yi remarked that indeed it still feels just as secure. The dragon warriors appeared with their spears, and Lin thought that as long as they don't get hit by their control skills, the dungeon will be much easier. The skeleton warriors got in combat formation and started to kill the dragon warriors. Yi Yi was amazed to see how Lin's skeleton warriors are killing those dragon warriors who are seven levels higher than them and have crazy stats. Yi Yi said it feels so relaxed, even though it's a hell level dungeon. System messages started to come like crazy, announcing that skeleton warriors have killed level 30 dragon tribe spearmen, gaining 300,000 experience points and obtaining dragon tribe skin. Lin acted modest and replied to Yi Yi that indeed, it's not difficult. Yi laughed and said only he would say it's not difficult, while others struggle to complete even the easiest normal difficulty dungeons. She told Lin that he makes it look so effortless. While they were talking, skeleton warriors were killing the dragon warriors without any struggle. Skeleton mages also joined the fight and used their high-level magic to kill the remaining dragons. Yi Yi was happy inside that Lin has become much stronger and can even summon mage-type skeletons. This time there were no surprises for Lin as he had already cleared the dungeon before. So Lin and Yi Yi reached the dragon castle easily. Lin asked Yi Yi about her mission besides dragon cores. Yi Yi took out a ring and showed it to Lin, saying, This lady is also quite formidable. The first mission was successfully completed, and she received the reward. Now, for the second mission, she needs to obtain a dragon core, reach level 25, and become a one star private. The ring Yi Yi showed to Lin was the ring of Brulin that increases all skills by one point. Lin didn't know anything about the ring, so he asked her what it is. Yi Yi smiled and said, Isn't it beautiful? She told him that it's made from the Goblin King's core that he gave her last time, and she completed the first mission before making it, almost dying in the process. Suddenly Lin grabbed Yi Yi's hand and pulled her closer. Lin did that because a dragon assassin targeted Yi Yi and attacked her. For the first time, Lin himself was surprised by those dragon assassins. It was natural that Yi Yi didn't notice them. Yi Yi asked Lin if there were invisible monsters. Lin replied, That's right, it's an invisible monster, she said. No wonder it's a hell level difficulty. Luckily, Yi Yi's assassin class skills could see through invisibility. She said she'll come and help Lin in a bit. Yi Yi went behind Lin and activated her assassin skill. Her eyes turned red because of the skill, and now she could see all the dragon assassins. Yi Yi started to tell the location of the dragon assassins to Lin. Lin commanded his skeleton warriors and mages, and started to kill the dragon warriors with Yi Yi's help. Lin said, With you around, I don't have to constantly be on guard against these invisible monsters. She smiled and said, This lady is still quite formidable. At that moment, Yi Yi noticed the two-star badge which Lin was wearing. She was amazed that Lin is already at two stars. Lin told her that he killed some abyss hounds. Yi Yi pointed at Lin and said, I've fallen behind because of you, Lin. From now on, you have to lead the way. Lin laughed and said, All right. Then, after clearing the outside of the castle, Lin and Yi Yi entered the castle. They reached the place where that dragon statue was placed. Lin immediately activated the skeleton armor for both of them and told Yi Yi to step back and stay away from him. Yi Yi said okay and backed off, but she was confused about why Lin wanted her to leave. With the silent casting style, summoners are generally not in any danger. The dragon statue started to crack. Lin said, let's go out and have some fun, old friend. On the other hand, Yi Yi climbed a tree and sat on the branch. She saw that the storage space is sealed and she only has one thing left to fight back. On Lin's side, the dragon statue awakened and became the sentry post guardian, the hell level leader. Lin and skeleton warriors looked tiny in front of the boss. When Yi Yi saw the boss of the dungeon from that tree, she was amazed and shocked. Lin, without wasting time, immediately used the slow curse skill. When the dragon boss got tied by chains, skeleton mages attacked it with fire magic. The dragon boss roared loudly and used his resistance enhancement skill to cancel Lin's soul curse skill. Then he used another skill, group knockback. That attack created shockwaves that shook the whole ground. Because of the shockwaves, 
Yi Yi lost her balance and fell from the tree. She even lost the last thing that she had to fight back. Lin used the soul flame skill and attacked the dragon boss. The skeleton general was also summoned at the time, and skeleton general used his skill, war formation. All the skeleton warriors and megas got influenced by the general's bluff, and they attacked the dragon boss. However, the dragon boss was too big and used his weapon to crush the skeleton warriors. When Lin saw that, he recalled all skeletons. All his skeletons have been recalled to the summoning space to avoid the boss's burst skills. Yi Yi, seeing Lin fight the dragon boss from afar, thought, Can Lin really solo a hell level boss? She said, Even if I tell my grandpa, he probably won't believe it. The lone summoned the skeleton mages to fight the dragon boss. When the dragon boss lost all his physics, the skeleton warriors were summoned to finish off the dragon boss. Lin killed the dragon outpost guardian. He gained 1.6 million experience points and obtained a gold grade weapon. Hell Sentry Outpost, Magic Sword, Hell Watchtower Magic Robe, and as an accessory, he got Hell Watchtower Ring. Lin also obtained two Dragon Tribe Crystal Cores. Ning Yi Yi obtained a Class Change Certificate, and Yi Yi leveled up. But she was more surprised to see the Cores and a Class Change Certificate. She jumped in happiness and hugged Lin from behind. She told Lin that she obtained the Class Change Certificate. Lin didn't know why Yi Yi was so happy. He asked her, Isn't the Class Change Certificate a guaranteed drop from Hell Level monsters? She told Lin that in Hell Level, only one drops at a time. She said, Lin, only you would treat a Class Change Certificate so casually. Lin told Yi Yi that he has something for her after they go out. Yi Yi got happy that there is something for her. Lin also gave her Hell Sentry headgear, which is a part of the Sentry set. It's a gold grade weapon, and with this, all attributes increase by 500. Yi Ji gets a 50% boost to Assassin class skills. She also got a Dragon Core, which is an extremely rare material used for crafting various items. Lin asked her to take a break and continue later. Yi Ji agreed with Lin. Both of them were relaxed, unaware of the danger outside the Dragon Frontline Post Dungeon. Meanwhile, a demon warrior that the Abyss Lord sent has come to kill the one who killed the Abyss Hounds before. Hunters from Cynthia were fighting those Abyss Hounds with the help of the sentry set that Lin gave them, otherwise they would be in danger. But there's still an Abyss Demon in the air. Cynthia hunters don't know what they should do. A hunter suggests that they hold on, hold on, until Lin comes. They know that once Lin arrives, these Abyss Hounds will be no match for him. The Abyss Demon, which has the appearance of an undead horse, was very angry. She has a skill to recognize who killed her children, the Abyss Hounds. She recognizes that the hunters currently fighting in front of the dungeon are not the ones who killed her Abyss Hounds, as they don't have her children's smell. The demon said, if that's the case, then she orders her children to eat all the hunters. All the Abyss Hounds attack those hunters without rest. Hunters were killed as they couldn't fight back with that number of hounds. Suddenly, someone teleports and comes out of the dungeon. It was the Holy Knight Zhou Lesheng, before he and his party could understand what's happening. The Abyss Hounds attacked them without giving them any chance to fight. Zhou Lesheng immediately used the skill Aura Change Resistance Aura. An Aura Shield Barrier covered him and his party members. The Abyss Hounds went flying as they were not able to destroy the Aura Shield. Zhou Lesheng calmed himself in the minimum time and looked around. He was shocked that there are so many Abyss Hounds. The Paladin warned Zhou Lesheng to watch out because there's a demon in the sky. Zhou Lesheng looked in the sky and there was an abyss demon flying toward him. That demon was coming towards him. It raised its sword to attack Zhou Lesheng, as he was the only one who abyss hounds were not able to deal damage to. Zhou Lesheng proudly said, Don't worry, it won't be able to break through my aura. That's my power as a holy knight. But when the abyss demon attacked him, Zhou Lesheng's aura didn't even activate, and the demon's sword directly hit him on the head without any resistance. Zhou Lesheng was shocked himself that the resistance aura isn't activating. He can't believe his aura didn't work. The abyss demon's attack was so powerful that Zhou Lesheng goes flying and hits a huge rock. Zhou Lesheng still couldn't understand how this is even possible. A healer comes to heal Zhou Lesheng. He was bleeding heavily. He almost died just now. The paladin and others were too disappointed by Zhou Lesheng. Zhou Lesheng talked so big about himself, but in the end, 
he's being beaten around like that. They thought a legendary profession would be stronger, but it was not even a fight. The abyss demon was flying into the sky and was looking at the hunters with anger. When the abyss demon joined the fight, its stats and level were analyzed by the hunter's system. The demon was level 36, but its name was unknown. The paladin said, This is bad because it's a level 36 abyss monster. Other hunters started to panic as they don't know what they should do now. The paladin said, We won't be able to win. I'm just hoping that Junior Lin won't come out anymore. He thought that since a legendary profession wasn't any help against this abyss demon, Lin, who is only level 23, might get seriously hurt by it. The abyss demon laughed at Zhou Lisheng, saying, Is this the power of the legendary holy knight? The demon added, This is a great opportunity to kill you and earn fame. Zhou Lisheng's party members sent out an emergency signal, informing everyone that help would arrive soon. At that time, Zhou Lisheng, who was getting healed, was very scared. He knew they couldn't win, and he didn't want to die like that. The abyss demon said it's too late for help to come and flew towards Zhou Lisheng to kill him. However, at that moment, our overpowered protagonist Lin, with his future waifu candidate, appeared. When the abyss demon saw Lin, it immediately recognized that Lin was the one who killed its children. The abyss demon was furious and shouted that she would destroy Lin. When Lin heard that loud sound, he looked in the sky and was a little surprised to see an abyss monster there. The paladin shouted, Junior Lin, watch out! The abyss demon attacked Lin with its full power, and even the shockwaves were enough to activate Yi Yi's skeleton armor, who was beside Lin. However, the abyss demon's attacks didn't do any damage to Lin, as Lin's level 4 skeleton armor stopped the attack. Lin taunted the abyss demon, saying, What's wrong with you? Didn't you eat anything before coming here? The abyss demon got even angrier and continuously attacked Lin, but none of her attacks even scratched him. This made the abyss demon even angrier, wondering why it couldn't touch Lin. Lin couldn't let her continue talking, so he counterattacked with Soul Blaze. The abyss demon screamed in pain as her body and soul were burned by Soul Blaze. The abyss demon started to run away, shouting that it would kill Lin. When Lin saw it running away, he used another skill, Slow Curse. Curse chains tied the abyss demon not letting her move an inch. Slow Curse not only stopped the Abyss Demon, but also tied all the Abyss Hounds attacking the Hunters. Everyone was surprised, and the Paladin informed everyone that it was Junior Lin's skill. All the Abyss Hounds got slower, and Hunters couldn't believe that a skill could affect such a wide area. The Abyss Demon cursed Lin as all her children were getting killed by the Hunters. Yi Yi couldn't control her laughter as she saw a dangerous Abyss creature cursing Lin. Lin summoned his skeleton warriors, and the ground got covered by green flame as the skeleton warriors emerged. Lin said, It's your turn now, my soldiers. The skeleton warriors followed Lin's command and started killing the abyss hounds. The abyss demon was very angry, but all the hunters felt relieved as Lin summoned his skeletons. When the skeleton warriors killed all the abyss hounds and created a mountain of their bodies, Lin used his ultimate skill, Corpse Explosion. All the corpses exploded with the remaining abyss hounds, amazing everyone. When the abyss demon was heavily injured and fell on the ground, its name and stats were also revealed. It was a level 36 abyss dog demon, a normal monster of the abyss, with an average of 8,000 strength, agility, spirit, and physique. Its skills included flight and heavy attack. All the skeleton warriors jumped at the abyss demon dog and killed her by stabbing hundreds of swords into her body. By killing the level 36 abyss monster, Lin gained 3.600 thousand experience points and 50 military merit. He also obtained abyss monster blood essence, which contains the energy of the abyss, usable by alchemists and blacksmiths to strengthen equipment. Lin's military merit reached the max, and he was upgraded to a 5-star private, obtaining 1,000 points and 5 contribution points. Since Lin and Yi Yi were in a party, Yi Yi also gained merit. She said, I didn't think I'd get so much military merit, too. Lin's equipment, Thanatos Scythe, also leveled up and reached level 7. Lin's spirit increased by 2100, making Yi Yi very happy. Lin asked her if she had completed her task, and she smiled, saying, It's all thanks to you that I could complete it so quickly. All the hunters surrounded Lin and Yi Yi as they were the heroes of this fight. Everyone was happy, but someone was not happy with Lin and Yi Yi, Zhou Leisheng. 
He thought that the person shining brightly and enjoying the gazes of others should be him. He was too angry, considering he was a level 30 holy knight, but was saved by a rookie at level 23. He was too angry to be embarrassed like this, looking at Lin and pledging that sooner or later, Lin would kneel and pray for forgiveness in front of him. He looked at Yi Yi, saying that Yi Yi would also be his sooner or later, and he would make her know who is truly the strongest. He was wrong, and his thinking was as bad as the people who Lin have already destroyed.